Hey, check it out, Holmes. Magrito Podcast Network presents, eh? Good stories. Let's interrupt. We we Chicano Chuffle. We love our fans. We hope you like this. If not, oh well. Let us dance. street name way <laughs> their papel says one thing way yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you make them do a two or three meet tomorrow that's not part of the contract bro en producción micromanaging the band way tenemos a el banquito sarabia yeah, he doesn't even have the audience ready. I was hoping fucking we can can get through this way. It's getting hot. Alright, we'll see you guys later. El lead guitar. Great episode. El que todo lo sabe y lo que no lo inventa es Ted. It's not true, eh? All right, guys, it was a great episode. <laughs> See you guys next week. Ian Boss. Zoom in the servidor. Ramon. Yeah, you rock us, Eric. Gracias, gracias. Thank you, little folks. All right, all right, yeah, back in the back. He went blank, bro. No, I thought you were going to lower it because I'm going to stand up. Me? I don't lower it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to stand up. I never lower it, bro. That's the, the man running the ship. Fernando always lowers Production. it. Production? Got to get together. You have, you have to know your crew, way. See who, what everybody <laughs> does, way. You confuse the roles. <sighs> All right. So, welcome back. What's up, bro? <laughs> Nada. Aquí fucking dealing with this fucking inferno. It was hot this week, huh? Yeah. Awesome. It was hot this week. It's a little warm right now. Fucking, yeah, taca, taca, bro, that's that fucking global warming. I saw Vegas is standing That was still? That was a few weeks ago. Yeah, no, like, no, again. Again? Again? Yeah. Uh, even worse, Shit. I think. Yeah. Fucking, um, there's like big old water rises everywhere in the world. Shit. Shit. This is this kind of episode where the weeds episode. No, 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 no. I'm just saying it's like you know, tosta calentita. I wonder, I wonder how things would have been different if Al Gore would have won. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> you know how when I remember what was it? He was going against George W. Bush, well, he, wasn't he? I think he did win, and then to like it on. Well, in Florida, right? There yeah. was a controversy. Yeah. He he gave he he threw in the towel. Yeah. So I wonder, like, would he would have made changes because you know how he was all about you know the climate, the climate. And everything, I don't know. He would have tried. I don't. I don't remember como está el Congress because remember it's not just the president where everybody no, just know. thinks it's one. But I mean, maybe he would have had influence in other countries también, or like you know. Nah, good nah. luck, way. I don't think. I think it's already. All the other countries, I think, are fucking trying harder than we are. Go, go change China, way. See how hard they're trying. Ah, uh, China está cabrón ahorita también, way. Yeah, not only in their country. I mean, they're they're invading fucking Africa, way, promising them all this shit, way. I mean, tienen some manitas. Oh, they're taking over Africa, fucking machine, way. Yeah, what? fucking. Oh, what was that just hearing right now? That in Africa, you know how they do a lot of the the poaching on elephants. Mm -hmm. So what the the African government or the I guess the reserve um, authorities do is that the vultures are a big sign where like you know when there's a someone something getting killed or, yeah. or death or whatever, right? So they start circling, and based upon that, they're able to find the bodies he, and and start the investigation and start catching them. So what the poachers are doing now, once they fucking kill an animal, they poison it. Mm -hmm. So when the vultures come, fucking se mueren yeah. los cabrones. They don't want no fucking. They're they're, oh, they're killing off the, the the vultures out there. Snitches get stitches, bro. <laughs> 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 you telling me uh, I'm massacring this animal, right? Yeah. Why are you snitching on me? Why are you Coleta? snitching on me, putos? Oh, I got you. And they're like up there, so they're like, ah, oh, fuck it, over there, cabrones, con I cannot comer. <laughs> and the thing is, it's right now it's their season to you know for little hatchlings, but like the moms and the the adults are getting killed. These little hatchlings are not going to survive, so eventually they're going to extinct the fucking vultures. Como los elefantes, man. yeah. That's crazy. It's like fuck, dude. As you see me with toda la mañana, we I was on my way, you know, enjoying my cafecito, fucking gonna go pick up Fernie, and I start hearing this story. I'm like, what the fuck? That's crazy. Wait, have you guys ever looked into like? I'm probably not. It's because it's kind of a random question, but it, you'll be surprised how many uh, animals a, a cat, a domestic cat, has has been uh, attributed to, a, like, like fucking literally wiping out fucking certain species of they're, they're like predators where people oh, people are gatos? people are in love with cats and they have them at home and all this shit but fuck, i don't know where they're savage they're I'm still, beasts i'm still not convinced by those fuckers and they know i don't fuck i know they're up to no good way because i never <laughs> get along with them everybody else is like ah, i mean cat i get videos sent to me dunch, dunch, i guess dunch, dunch. i get videos sent to me like look at how cute this cat is and he's fucking <laughs> scratching the shit out of the owner i'm like that's not oh, fucking fuck cute, cute. Way. <laughs> <laughs> these fucking guys i blame them for the bees way i don't have facts but <laughs> our, our definitions of cute are different yeah. i don't know way. i mean cats, so what have they wiped out or that they, they, you, oh, I mean, they I, you remember uh, it's it's like uh it's a high percentage way in the 90s of like fucking uh species way i don't know the i know birds they're, they're like they like to hunt the birds and shit i know i mean fucking i guess they're the great hunters for for mice you get a lot of shit way. well now now the fucking coyotes are all over the place way. Yeah, I know. I um, I I've, I've seen not too long ago. I saw a coyote around here, way in Santa Fe Springs, way. There, there's a there's a little coyote family right there where I live, way. Oh really? Oh yeah, I seen them. They they come and go away, but I seen right them in, in your neighborhood when I dropped it off late at night. No, I, I mean last time we came we came home from like a little kitty party. I ended up fucking roaming. I could fucking pass in the car and le valió verga, way like. What's up, homie? <laughs> Just kept walking. Where's like, my cake, puto? I mean, it's funny because like Ramon's Ramon's neighborhood's kind of hood, right, way. And so the ring cameras that you, the images that you get, <laughs> my sister lives in the bougie ass neighborhood, and the ring cameras that she sends are fucking bears and coyotes. Way it, it's like those wildlife cameras. Yeah, way. It's like a huge fucking bear. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, the bears are getting like must must brave, like they're coming down. Well, I don't think they're getting brave. I think what they're getting is hungry. Well, well yeah, mm. but they, they gotta get a little brave porque todavía le tienen miedo a la gente, you know? Mm -hmm. So they 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 have to go further out, so you gotta get a little bit of more huevos, güey. Está cabrón, güey. Pero yeah. los coyotes, like the, the they have already like adapted, I think, to the to like the urban environment. Oh, right? you're not gonna get rid of coyotes, güey. They they have the there's this thing that I don't know how it works, obviously, way, but the the female. It, they keep track of how many in their fucking little colony get killed, and that's how many she produces. The yeah, they like they know exactly how many are missing. How many you need? And they they fucking they, uh, produce replenish. Pr produce the same amount, and um, they're, they're never going away. No, I mean, I mean, I don't think you're supposed. To, I don't think you're supposed to like. Uh, 
I think you're supposed to scare them off, pues. Pero you're not supposed to, like, fucking, you're not supposed to, like, try to run them off. And then, ¿Cómo te lo explico? Yeah. You're supposed to keep them scared of humans, güey, para que, pa que they don't attack people, pues, pero not kill them or, like, really, like, run them off the land type of shit. I don't know, eh? That's, that's debatable because if you have a small dog, I mean, some dog owners... You know, take, they take their pets really serious, and these these guys are savages. Where? Well, I'm, that's what I'm saying. But you're you're supposed to. Cuando los ves, pues les puede echar un ojo. Oh, yeah, qué bonito, pinche wilderness, wildlife. But you're supposed to scare them off, way, so that they know they're not supposed to be there, pues. In, Ca the, for, for, in California, you're talking no, about. no, like in, in, in there's in, different laws in different states. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm not saying it's a law. No, I'm saying like the the the. Huh. the like the the, the 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 coming response or the coming way to the, deal the, with it. That's the recommendation, pues, como de la whatever the U.S. Forestry. federal like forestry, whatever, my mother. Like the the recommendation, pues, si ves uno like in like in where it's not supposed to be, pues. Yeah, you can check it out and fucking no, probably not pasar nada, pues, porque todos les tienen miedo. But you have to keep up those appearances, pues. So after you ya les echas un, un minuto, les echas ojo. Ay, qué bonito el pinche wildlife. You're supposed to like shoo them off, way. So they know they're not supposed to be there and they they, they keep that fear. Pues, si no, si no pasan más como dices tú, se agarran los perritos when you're not looking or, or maybe a, a, a small child type of shit. Le echan el ojo a si tienen hambre. Well, it's just weird like how humans are, even with pets, because there's people that are all about like PETA and this and that or whatever the fuck, but then they don't give a shit about other animals. And it's like, like especially like, um, I think, the best PR in animals are the bears, way, because they're fucking savages too, and everybody thinks they're all cute and fucking Winnie the Pooh shit. Yogi Bear. Right away. And they're like, oh, way, they're savages. They have good PR, way. People have uh, empathy for them, but. Who's the other one? Smokey the Bear? Fucking. The, the pre prevent forest, forest fires? Only you can prevent forest fires. But, like, you know, they, they associate them with eating honey, and, like, they're so cute. Look at them, like, fuck that way. <laughs> uh, I think when we went camping once, we had a bear around the the camp. No, mm -hmm. a, um, well, yeah. Well, whenever the weather is a campsite, there's a bear yeah. there. You gotta put that'll scoop by to Erica where he can take advantage. Yeah, of so them. a lot of people tend to hide their food in their cars, and that doesn't work anymore. These fuckers got smart. They have these little like yeleritas with a lock that you put your shit in there. The the one of the crazy countries is Australia, way because there's really no predators for some of these fucking like animals out there. Like they have, I've I see like a like a service that they have Jack Jack Russell Terriers fucking um like pretty much control like I would say millions of rats way because this this look fucking crazy way the amount of rats that are over there and um these little fucking guys are savages with the little Jack Russells mm -hmm. agarran las pinches ratas and they fucking come on los culeros vale <laughs> <laughs> stay in your lane puto <laughs> yeah that's crazy bro Show who's boss. <laughs> But see, um, like, I follow this page called Nature is Metal on Instagram, and um, I see a lot of people, you know, it's they don't like to watch these images, way, but well, these these animals are eating, way. Like, the, this is their food, way. Some of them obviously kill, um, you know, for defense purposes, or they, they flee, but most of them that are killing is because they need they're, to eat, Yeah, way. they need to eat. So, I, don't, I don't like watching those. I mean... But people need to understand yeah. that that's nature. Right? Oh, like, I get it. I totally get it. But the same thing is I don't like watching the hunting videos either. You know, like when people go hunting and they record it and how, they, you know, I, I don't like But But those. then, you, so you prefer somebody else to kill for you, right? Because oh, that's basically course. what it is, oh, right? Yeah. You go to Karen and yeah. Por eso pagas fucking ocho dólares la libra, güey. <laughs> yeah, see, I, ne I never understood that way. Because uh, you would think that you would want to have control over it. Obviously, you can't uh, at, a, at a mass scout because of mm -hmm. the... The dense population in certain cities, like right here, we, we can't hunt. Away. We can't fucking hunt our own meals. So obviously, we have to go fucking buy shit at the store. But it's funny how people are like, oh no, I don't like hunting, but then they want somebody else to do it for them. Yeah. that's crazy. I, I don't like fucking doing plumbing either, but I'm not, you know. Como la otra vez, uh, I saw a video of these kids fucking, there was a huge fucking snake. Way it looked like maybe India or some fucking country out there, um, and they had a dog wrapped. Like the dog, the, oh, the, the, yeah. I mean, you have, you can't intervene with nature way. Like, so these fucking kids start, and I get it. Way it's like that that whole like, what do you do? You so you gotta defend your 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 compa, your little dog. So like these three fucking little kids were were um were trying to get the snake off the dog, and they they managed to do it. But then my my other part of my brain was like. Wait, this guy wanted to eat, way like you're fucking with nature. I mean, I get it. But wait. a dog is not normally in a do in a in a in a snake's um fucking what would you say 
If it's food scale. Sm- if it's smaller than the snake, it's in its food scale. Yeah, yeah. and then it's not. The <laughs> world doesn't revolve around the U.S. Where the well, other, this other was countries, an India way. I know, but other countries, the, the the like wildlife is different. Where like here we see things different, and no, I understand. But you're saying that the kids in India, whatever, saved their dog. I, think I don't know it's if just, it was their dog. Oh, they saved the dog. Yeah. Well, the thing is, that it's 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 looked at as a it's this animal. The dog is a pet. It does not rely on itself to get fed. It could after a while, but it usually relies on a, on a human or on a person. Well, so mean, it's more of a it's it's a it's a pet, but at the same time, it's an extension of the family. They're family. They see it as family. I'm sure. Wait, but I mean, the other argument to that is the snake has no owner or no, no human that feeds it. So the snake has to literally eat. And figure out where the f- food's coming from. So, so how about if it was a toddler? Way, I mean, it, it's like uh, I'm gonna blame the parenting because I always blame parenting for everything. <laughs> right? So, I mean, that's that's the end of that conversation. <laughs> but like, I mean, it's hard way because it's like you're intervening. They, they they like back to like Fernando was saying that they tell you this. That there's a there's a saying that or or the the fucking rule of thumb is don't intervene with nature way like. You don't want to be the target of somebody fucking having a meal and then you're fucking with their meal. Or you're trying to free this prey from the predator. Like, just let it go. Away. Let nature happen. You Usually when when uh, animals are eating, too, it's um, the most dangerous time. Wait, For it, sure, bro. It's that, defensive. Yeah, that's when they, they get most of it. Same thing even like with your pets. Yeah. They tell you like For when sure. your dog's eating, your cat's no, eating, whatever you have. No, metas mano. You got to be careful. Wait. You got to teach the kids. Get, that, that's not the time place to try to play with the dog or the cat or whatever, you know? Yeah, because that's when they get defensive. Because that—that's just their natural instinct. We gotta so, protect the meal. So it's face way. Like you see a dog, and you see it's a cute face. You can tell that it's cute. You see a fucking fish. You don't have that same that same feeling when you see a fish's face. For some reason, that face doesn't reflect with being like caring or, or adorable. Or it's cute. just, it's yeah. just our, the way we recognize faces where triggers emotions. Way and it's, it's just very interesting. Way because even like people that love. I know it's not the same category, but it's still something that's uh, like uh, living where like you you're for dogs and this and that. But you see a fucking bug or some shit and you run everywhere or you fucking step on it. And I'm thinking like, wait, how come that's cute for you? And this you're going to be a dick about it. Except for mosquitoes. Wait. Fuck it, or flies. Yeah, flies, mosquitoes, I think. This list I, is growing very I, fast. You know what? I, I, I stopped. Um, ya tengo como unos cinco años que ya no mato like spiders. I don't kill them. I, I'll, the mija or myself will get them and yeah. we'll take them outside. Yeah. Um, I don't I don't kill them anymore. But yeah, flies and fucking zancudos. Mm. I still que kill spiders. Todo lo, que, madre, you do it? todo lo que se me ponga enfrente, cabrón. I, 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 <laughs> the, the daddy long legs are allies, bro. They, yeah. they, they eat shit. I keep they're those the around. most. I think because I think I've heard that they're the most dangerous. Not dangerous, Venomous? but those. No. They're the most effective killer because of their long legs. Like nothing could get close enough to harm them. But they're they're pretty venomous. It's just their teeth doesn't penetrate our fucking skin or anything. Oh. So they're they're harmless to us. But in yeah. theory, they're they're pretty venomous. Yeah. Like they have venom in them. Way, but I keep those for you. Those are allies, bro. No, I, I, eso sí, también. I, I, I let those go away because, like you said, they're, yeah. they're no threat to me. Way. Yeah. But flies and zancudos. But I must tengo respeto los insects. I, I won't kill but, bees. But you, but you don't feel like that about dogs and shit. So you're like pretty much across the board. Well, because it, it just naturally, the, like you have instincts now. You've had dogs and cats. Anything that could be a pet, como he says, we now associate, como he says, Ramona. Maybe not part of your family, pero les the, tienes the, más. Extension, yeah. I don't want to say que los tengo tanto amor, because I don't have amor for dogs and cats, like kind of like Ramon does, you know? Or like you do. I understand that, that relationship, but si les tengo... I don't know if it's what is respect or effect, some kind of affection, pues, that, yeah, you see it and you go, oh, shit, I want to help it, pero not not at the same level you guys do, pues. Uh, but, but see, it's a cultural thing that because we're talking about India. In India, they don't understand how we eat cow. Uh, to cows, cows to them is like their, their ancestors yeah. or it's something that's a little different. So even in, culturally, it's like they look at us like if they go to a fucking carniceria, and we're over here fucking, hey, dame unos, tri- unos carnitas. So dame, so they're looking at us like, these people are fucking savages. Like, why are they eating this fucking shit? And so it's a very interesting way how culturally we're just, uh, we accept certain traditions. And, and then we don't, we think that everything revolves around America all the time. Way, and it's just, it's a, there's a whole world out there. Way. Uh, yeah. But ahorita you said something right now that was interesting that triggered me. I right? know how you were talking about in India and uh, the whole cows, right? Uh, you know, like who is it? Is it the Buddhist that that think that you when you pass away you um, 
It's a reincarnation. You reincarnate, right? Mm-hmm. So there, I, somebody was telling. I think it was a Mija or something. Someone was telling me. I heard it that you know how like you and myself we're not we don't have offspring, right? And we don't plan on having offspring. Apparently, we're at our uh, at the end of our life cycle already. Makes sense that we're not gonna since we're not gonna reincarnate or I mean this is a, we're, we've already reincarnated so many times that I think this is our life cycle. This is where it ends. Mm, so we become gods. I guess I don't know. <laughs> well, that's what happens. <laughs> yeah. right? Like where you you're supposed to live. Yeah. Um. There's there's a there's a video on YouTube called the Egg Theory, and the Egg Theory is supposedly well, a human cycle is uh, you know it's and it's a theory, right? But it, it's it's a nice one where it really makes you think a little different. This theory says the egg theory says that we live every like your life. I, I'll live it or I lived it already. Mm-hmm. Fernando's life. I'll live it at some point and he'll live my life and you live my life. The point is we, we, we live every single life. Like when you reincarnate, like when you die, you can come back to the 1400s. Or you can be a Spanish settler. You can you can go back and forth. But the point is to live every single life that's ever existed. And then when you do that. You become a Godway. So in theory, if you meet somebody in public and you're a dick to them, you're being a dick to yourself. Either you were that person in your past or you're going to be that person in your future. So why are you going to be a dick to the person? You're basically being a dick to yourself. And once you once we live Hitler, we, we're going to be Trumps. We're going to be Hitlers. We're going to be fucking every every person that we despise, every person that we love. Once we go through the entire history of human civilization from from the birth to fucking the end. Then we become God's way. And that's supposedly like the theory. We have to live every single fucking life that ever existed in order for us to gain that. That wisdom, whatever you want to call it, way, to become God's way. Anyway. But I mean, that that means you don't learn between your your reincarnations, right? I mean, I don't. I don't know if. if I don't know, think we. Uh, I mean, I, do you have memory of it? I don't think I do. I don't remember my past life, but they say children do. Yeah, that's why they're explored. They say like when there's a kid before five, they have an imagination that's that's pretty wild. They'll, they'll grab something that's supposedly a gun. A lot of people believe that they're living their previous life. They still have a memory of what they did before. That's why they're able they're, to. They're in that transition period. They're definitely. they're able to remember like their previous life. They they play around like they're fucking soldiers or they soldiers or what? Yeah, I mean. And it's all theory way. I mean, it's a, we don't understand that way, but it's it's definitely interesting, bro. But yeah, but so I you so you do learn it, Fernie, because because what because because what happens with one life? You you're Trump and you're rich. Oh, you're you're a fucking uh, ego. You're you're a shit fucking person. So the next life, you're fucking homeless. So you're learning. You're you're living everybody's life. If you were fucking homeless and be a tweaker in this life, when you die, you already had a full life of suffering because you're paying for the previous life, and now you earn your stripes to come back and have a more affluent fucking life. Where that's basically yeah. The, well, well, no. What I was saying is, it, I mean, that, to me, pues, and then. The, the way I think about it was it almost seems they're not, not pointless, but it, it, yeah, you're saying like you're gaining all this experience of living different lives, but but when you go into that life, pues, you don't remember that you were culero in the last life or that you were poor in the last life and this time you have money. So like this time, in, so you, all the mistakes are always repeated because you don't, you didn't learn anything, pues. Not really, because you're, you're the, you say all the time, huh? there's people that are fucking, or we say it all the time, there's people that are privileged, that have more privilege than us. So basically what this is, is those people in their next life are going to be fucking where we're at, and we're going to be where they're at, because we already went through so, a life of fucking... So I, what I take about this theory, it's not about learning, it's just, it's about living every experience. So when, when you the time comes to be, when your time is to become a god, you already lived everything. Everything, you lived yeah. From poverty to richness, from, mm-hmm. from, you know, a simple life to a lavish one, from... Fucking ignorance to fucking intellectuality. Exactly, you know, bro. from fucking from you, you rockero gotta, you, to reggaeton. You gotta turn at every. At so, every so if I'm an asshole to you, Fernie, we're friends, quote unquote, and and I'm like, fuck, I hate this fucking guy. I'm basically hating on my future self or my previous self. At some point, yeah. At some point, that's basically the the theory. I mean, and uh, make it a little layman's. I mean, yeah, but I mean, look at me. I'm like, tension is this side. Like, oh shit, maybe I'm at my end cycle. That's it. I'm done. You know, I'm not going to if if that was my faith or that was my belief, 
that's it. I'm, I'm done. But but if you really feel like that, then you fucking live way. Then then you're oh, just I'm hanging out like fucking. Yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> fucking. I know. This is it for me. Like okay, uh, if that's I'm really. Not going I, out I don't anymore. feel like that because if I felt like that, I would fucking. No, no. I would try to do every fucking thing that I could think of because I don't have. This is it for me. I don't believe that. But way. Uh, también, some people would take that as that maybe I should have a seed then because if I'm if I'm at my mm. end. Let me start something new. Yeah, but so that well, could go like, both ways, way. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't. Or three that. ways, because I'm yeah, this way. I don't. Yeah, you, you know. I don't. I, I mean, all all of those are pretty far fetched to me, but they they all sound. It, does, says, it doesn't. It's sound, a good idea. Like I like the the idea of it. It, it doesn't I, sound as bad. It's a little sad. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little sad, but it doesn't sound that bad because I'm like, okay, I'm at the like everything. It's like at the end of your life cycle. There's this uh, show. Cause I'm at the good place. Um, it's all esta, ¿cómo se llama? Forget if Sarah Marshall. Um, yeah, I don't remember her name. Ah, I know you're talking about the Guarita. La Guarita. Y luego sale Ted Danson. And there's a lot of a, a lot of good characters. And spoiler choices. Well, the thing is, the way it ends <laughs> is it's, with Ramon. It's always spoiler yeah. alerts. So when the season, when the, the show, the show ends, it has a good ending. And I love it because it kind of like it, it, it's kind of like what you're saying, you know, like the the egg theory. But I mean, they, they get to live as much as they can, as long as they can. And then at some point, it's just like, OK, I think I'm, I'm ready. I, I, I'm ready I to move on. I, I, the older I'm, I'm getting right middle age, the more I appreciate death way like mm-hmm. death. It's incredible where it, it's 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 not a it's not a, a, a bug. It's a feature way because think about it. Wait, if we didn't die way. We would we would hear stories of like, oh yeah, bro. I haven't talked to my mom in eighty years, bro. Yeah, I'm sure she's doing fine. Like that's the kind of conversations I we could would always have. catch up at some point. That's the kind yeah. of conversations we would have. Where it's like, but but since we know that we die, uh, it makes us appreciate the the moments even more. That's why, you know, I'm I'm terrible at communicating with family and friends. Where right? but knowing that I'm gonna die makes me want to reach out and be around people that I love. Because if we didn't die, way you guys will hear from me in three hundred years. Way, you know? <laughs> like, hey, remember that barbecue we had in fucking when they got all those españoles? Way, that I'll, was a good fucking barbecue. I haven't I, seen you since then. I'll way. be five hundred uh, working on my fourth family, way <laughs> on my fourth career. <laughs> like I'm back at school for my fifth time. Way it's like, but but with death, way it's like it's a beautiful y, thing. Way that we we makes us appreciate people. Way in the moments that man. And y también ya ves in, in like fiction way, whenever the story involves something that. But you know, like the stories that, that, that the rich can now afford to live forever, way they clone their bodies or, mm-hmm. or they freeze themselves, or whatever. Like somehow, it, at least in the, those fictions, way those people always become shit people because you lose empathy, way because uh-huh. you you live forever, way and like yeah. these people go away, like those pobres, pues yeah. they live eighty years and fucking disappear, yeah. and you're on like almost three hundred, way like <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm just I'm hey, I'm gonna so that, I, I'm sure that will happen too, you know. At some point you're like ah fuck it, whatever way, like yeah, yeah. What, what's this worth? Another concert? No mames. <sighs> I'm, I'm fucking what? I'm gonna watch Pearl Jam again? Fuck, bro. Yeah, no shit, bro. <laughs> they haven't come out with anything good since fucking it's 1994. They've been playing the same songs for 400 fucking years, yeah, man. Yeah, I haven't found it in black. <laughs> Yellow Led Better? Fuck, dude, come on. Fuck, bro. Yeah, so. Jeremy? Really? I, that, that's what I'm saying. So, I, in a way, in that way, pues, I like. Como dices que tiene un end, way. Like, uh-huh. you have this much time. It's finite. It's finite. You yeah. can't take it back. Like you, you can't. There's still look at the end, but también it's the same part. It's the same thing that me espanta, pues. Yeah, no. It's. I mean, I'm not saying <laughs> it's that. Double edged sword. Right? I'm not saying that you accept that, right? Because I mean, I think about it a lot, way, but. It's definitely yeah, you've dodged it in the past shit, bro. this year's the last, the last couple of months. Man, I feel like fucking <laughs> you, yeah, you fucking been... dodged an oncoming bullet, fucking yeah. you dodged a fucking an inferno. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's all part of being human, bro. <laughs> it's a, the great stories, right? Like, come on, I know. The I'm fuck? glad you're here. Don't get me wrong, no, but no. it's one of those where, like, okay, now we can laugh about it. Now we can clown. I think about I was it. laughing the fucking the, the, the moment. I mean, I saw literally. the picture. I, I was the... laughing. Literally you're, in the you're moment. pushing the fucking truck up to the, the tow truck. <laughs> the, I'm telling you, CHP was probably with me and my my fucking uh, the jefe, where my my friend George. We were just shooting the shit. We took a selfie where with the van on the back all burnt, and then uh, <laughs> yeah, like, and then when we were driving home, or we were going to the shop to unload some of the tools that maybe survive. 
we're like, hey, we're the CHP part is like these fucking guys are weird. Weird. The fucking hey, this, <laughs> if this does not look like an insurance scam, I don't know what does. <laughs> I know he's writing it down. <laughs> Suspicious. <laughs> They're Shit. both laughing it up, taking pictures, high fiving. But, but honestly, Ramon, if I, if I was in uh, in the in the accident a few months ago, I probably would. This would probably crush me, Wayne. But. But just kind of processing the, the oh. accident and seeing how I could have just fucking died right there. It, it's like your own borrowed time. Where just- yeah, because like you were expressing to us, you have to start again from scratch. You have to rebuild your your, <laughs> your tools. Way. Dude, it's been so stressful this whole week where I've been like, fuck, we're buying tools way. And like, because, you know, I, I've been doing the job for a while. Way. So it's not like you get a new job um, that you need tools. They, they, they'll they start you off with even a little wrench, a little craftsman a socket set. fucking $140 set that has a lot. Of, that'll get you buy for until you get more experience but yeah. since i've been doing it for a while where i have jobs that require special tools you gotta change heads you gotta change <laughs> i need a, a torque wrench <laughs> i mean wave some he, he saved some leña from the fire <laughs> <laughs> That's what I noticed. <laughs> so I don't know, like uh, I don't know what kind of meat he'll smoke uh, in no, there. Uh, out uh, there, uh, like so. If you sometimes when you're working on specialty jobs or whatever, you have pieces of wood or you have little little things, wood blocks. Li- yeah, little wood blocks. But not only that, but you have little trinkets here and there that makes your job easier. That you're mm-hmm. like, okay, this will help me wedge it. Or the, you're like, ¿Para qué este pinche esta barra? Oh, because this helps me when I have to do e- this. E- even, a, even a plastic, uh, uh, like a, a fucking one of those plastic water bottles yeah. cut in half is yeah, like it's, crucial. It's, it's a, yeah, <laughs> like it's, it's there for a fucking reason. I have it like, for a reason. Like yeah. it looks like, hey, wait, why do you have a fucking half cut fucking hey, way? Why wait, wait, have, wait, hey. wait till we need it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> why do you have so many exactly. empty Gatorade bottles? Dude, wait till we need it. Wait till you got a P where you're yeah, fucking. There's so many little fucking shit like that that wow. I had in my in my work trucks, uh, you know that they would question me like, where do you have that? Like, what do you have that spool of like a cable? Why, why like, do you have a microwave? In the yeah, fucking- <laughs> toaster. <laughs> toaster. toaster oven. Oven. Why do you have a slow cooker back there? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Ramon right there. <laughs> you know, and like, hey, wait until I fucking eat it, cabrón. Yeah. Why do you have fucking aluminum foil? Just hey, chill, bro. Chill. Pa algo sirve. Chill. So. You have these wood blocks that que salvaste, and they look como que they look charred. You, you, you yeah. used them like, for for like, la carne asada and yeah, the fucking sure. campfire. Um, <laughs> but I mean, I need it that way. But I was thinking like right now uh, when we're done with this, I'm gonna go to Home Depot. and I'm gonna have them cut mm. cut a few flat ones. Don't I got a shillow that I just took down the fence? But I mean, you, I need them like fucking Monday way. I'll I'll, I'll I'll take them to you tomorrow. Nah, don't worry about it. Don't Wait, worry. I ha- I gotta break them down. I got th- I'm throwing them away. Well, just bring them next week. Okay. I always take them to the shop where okay. it's all, they're always needed. But all right. but yeah, wait, it's been pretty stressful. Way fucking getting the tools and and it's a lot of money. Way and then you know us way. It's not like I'm gonna fucking buy shit from yeah. Harbor Freight. Now I'm fucking. No, like, now you gotta. Yeah, like now you're going to specialty stores. You're yeah, going to, yeah, exactly. Like, you know, you gotta go to either Lowe's or Gray Bar or fucking. Um, I don't know. Maybe the Home Depot. Or you even go out to the website uh, for the yeah. for the manufacturer. Yeah. yeah. So so now I'm like I'm I I you know I, I kind of process it like wait well have fun with it now way eh? like you lost all your shit now you can rebuild and have cool shit now that and now you can make it match or you're not yeah. looking as like fucking. And this drill también, over here. También you know what's essential now, no? For sure. That's a good yeah. point, man. Because I had a lot of extra. Tenía like fucking cinco palancas. Wey. I don't need cinco palancas, wey. Like, <laughs> no. but why did I have five? Because why not? Wait, and, and hey, stuff wait que, until I fucking eat it, puta. <laughs> yeah, and, and stuff that you buy, you go, oh, this is pretty cool, pero nunca lo usas type of shit. But es que, you know, you, you buy an impact from Milwaukee, the quarter inch or whatever, and it always comes with a charger, way. There's like fucking eight chargers in the fucking shop. So it's like. Shit starts accumulating that you're like, I don't need this much shit, way. And <coughs> but see, it seems it's been a pretty hectic week, way. Like it's been pretty a little stressful it's been at a times. Hectic month, hectic year, cabron. Yeah, it's been pretty. Yeah, but uh, like you say, you know, like if it wouldn't have been for the other accident, this one would have crushed you. Yeah, and if we were live forever, I wouldn't give a shit about yeah, any I of this. Fuck it. Damn, they, they said que como te ha cambiado el norte right here on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Why? No Harbor Freight. I still fuck with <laughs> no, Harbor Freight. No Swami fucking specials. <laughs> I see no, you know. know what it is? Like, I don't know who said that, but. I don't um, know either. It's a little far. I barely read it. But in the art job way, like. I mean, I, I work for a small company, a really small company. I'm not, I don't have like the decals of like a big fucking dealer. So in my job way, it's important to have good tools like Harbor Freight. There's nothing wrong with Harbor Freight, but I don't want to charge Harbor Freight labor. I want to charge 
labor where your presentation you can get away with with a bigger customer more professional customer and, and, and the, the little attention to detail i want to make more money so if i'm going to invest in better tools and better setup i'm not saying harbor freight doesn't do the job but i'm trying to make money way so yeah. my presentation is what's gonna but everything is is presentation where if a customer sees you with a nice tool set there's a chance that the manager or the supervisor know about tools and and you'll be surprised how they see your fucking harbor freight tools and they look they look uh, sideways yeah it's like if you were like a real estate if you roll i mean you could roll up in a kia or you could roll up in a Mercedes or a BMW, like depending. It shows that like, okay, this guy is good at his craft. For sure. There, there's people that specialize in that way. Like you can rent a high-end car for the day. So it's show up to a fucking meeting way because you don't want to show up in your Tercel. Even though <laughs> you're good for the job way. But if you show up in an expensive car, you, you're telling the person that you're worth yeah. that. So that's that was that's what I want to do. Where No, mm -hmm. there, there's one, one caveat to that one way. If you do fucking construction, you want to show up in the fucked up truck to give Oh, yeah. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> no, no, este güey cobra, cobrar. Nah, pues, pero, pero, <laughs> no, güey. Yeah. yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, but, whenever, yeah, you, I, you want that little Toyota from the 80s, güey. Nah, but, okay. but, but, <laughs> but I was, funny, before you, when I was doing, getting the estimates for the back fence, yeah. there's a guy that showed up in a, like a, like a F2, like F450 fucking lift and everything. Right away, I'm like, yeah, that's not the guy. Este no. me va a cobrar, <laughs> me va a cobrar up the f you see? He gave me the the most expensive estimate. Yeah, no, but I mean, you guys, are, you guys. <laughs> I, I don't deal with the same people that you guys. No, deal I'm with, just right? saying it's just a uh, like, like that's why I don't. I wouldn't want to be a mechanic for a regular people. Like I, I like the businesses because hey, you want it or you don't. People. Yeah, wait, that's what you get. Yeah, and yeah. when my customers is like. You want it or you don't, bro. Like I got, I got hey, other shit to do. You're losing money. But it, no, you're but losing money with that unit. You want it done right. Now. You want it done right. You got a two hundred thousand dollar load that you have to unload. You want it done right, or you want it to fucking fail again? Where yeah. so? No, yeah, but this it's because you're. Just you're jokes, but no, 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 I but, know, I know, way. But it's like that's why I don't like way. dealing with. It's because in, in your guys' situation, residential shit. Yeah, basta la persona que. In my situation with these big companies, you you pull up in a nice van. They want because wait, they have. They have people come in for, for business meetings and you're working on their shit in the back. They don't want you to fucking be on a beat up Toyota way while people in suits walk in and you're in the back working on their shit. They want to see nice stuff where and it does matter. No, well, that's, but I mean, like, I think that's what, what, pretty much what you're saying. Right? Well, stay way deals business to business way. Yeah. We're talking to fucking business to consumer. Yeah, on, exactly. On, bro. All right. And on that end, pues, that's going to work against you. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but business to business, como dices, stay way. See, if one of these managers or whatever, Rolls by a ver, a ver qué está haciendo este güey, and then you don't have the the nicer tools. It, it's almost like you don't like, know what you're doing. Yeah, no, it's not even like you know what you're doing. It, it almost gets in you. I'm, I couldn't like almost. Pinchy Mickey Mouse, that's the way. No, you you could assume pues que like ponle que tú eres el manager güey. You you hired this guy to get the fork to fix, fix the fork. Like you roll up, he has nothing but Harbor Freight. You're like, wow, dick, I could have went and go bought yeah. those tools. I could have done this. And I could have saved exactly myself it. fucking two grand or whatever. Uh, yeah. yeah, and I'm not trying to sound. Estoy pagando este cabrón? Fuck yeah. that. Yeah, I, I could have figured it out for that. I don't want to sound bougie way, but yeah, it's it's a, we're we're trying to get to a different um clientele. A, yeah, a different clientele way. Right? There's there's people that charge more than half of what we charge per per hour per rate uh, for for our labor rate and that's fine way but I don't want those customers either because those are the customers that that any little thing is like a big deal like oh send me a quote dude I don't have time to send you a fucking quote you want to do it or not like do you want to do it now or like fucking cuz I'm going to charge you an hour to write up the quote like that I charge them an hour way they want me to do a quote I'm not going to work for freeway I'll sit in my fucking van and look at part parts and look at pricing figure out how much time I'm, it's going to take me and if they want a quote they're going to pay me one hour of labor away because fuck them no, who wants to work for freeware no way fuck that <clears throat> yeah a la chingada with that pero si like snap on se la jalan way some of that shit's really expensive way for my taste way even though it's good stuff way but fuck way I mean I, I've scored on some snap stuff on snap on hey, stuff hey, who you snapped know? you <laughs> <laughs> I got a couple of them and you know what dude I've had I've had, uh, I was just telling somebody, I think I was telling the mija that I have some, some, some lineman pliers. Dude, when, uh, when Fernie and I first started working, and that's over 20 years that I still have them. Yeah. 
you know, they're Klein. They're like fucking sturdy and uh, oh, Klein. Yeah, yeah, I had a few Klein fucking tools. I mean, I like, got some, yeah, a couple yeah, screwdrivers. And even like the screwdrivers, you'd be surprised how fucking snug they fit. Like fucking and compared to other shit. Dude. <laughs> they're um, not stripped ni nada, but I mean, you have to take care of your tools. You have shit. to take care of your tools, yeah. And yeah. It, and I mean, in my line of work, way uh, you you deal with a lot of hydraulic oil, which where you should have seen. I mean, the impacts. I, I was already due for new fucking impacts, right? Because the hydraulic oil it does a number on rubber so my batteries were already kind of fucked up like my impacts i mean uh, i have to be really careful when when i get oil on my on my shit that has rubber because it even like my flashlight i have one of those stream lights so oh, se las come, se come the button like fucking it starts le, le empieza a dar hambre a the rubber yeah but um but yeah mm-hmm. no it's just it's hard to keep shit clean way when you're dealing with oil weight but i'm gonna <laughs> I told myself, way I'm like, fuck, I got to keep this, like, tits, can, way. Can't, can't trust this guy hey, uh, with condones. Uh, well, fucking, <laughs> hey, uh, my grito, fucking send the invoice to Milwaukee, to the Walt, <laughs> Snap-on, <laughs> <laughs> fucking, who else? Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, uh, so, yeah, I, I les va la lista, but can, yeah. I'm pidiendo invoices. Yeah, no, tools are, way, fucking tools are nice, way. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. I mean. That's uh, it's it's weird now that I don't really get to handle tools anymore. But, but it's what, muscle memory, no way. Yeah, it's muscle definitely. I mean, como te digo, like uh, the back fence just got finished. I started putting up the the panel wood and everything. So I got a a lot of old. The old fence, I have a lot of it that I'm breaking it apart and just ya está vieja la madera. I can't even reuse it, so I'm just cutting it up and I'm fucking dumping it in the in the green basket. lecho <laughs> lecho ramas o whatever para fintear. Yámonos. I mean, it's 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 pretty like this whole week when I have some time at home. Way I've been looking at people's vans, the like the tour vans, like mm-hmm. not not the tour vans. Sorry, wait, like tours of service vans like guys that are techs either hvac or mm-hmm. fucking like electricians they'll, they'll show you like a like, setup yeah like a setup and it's cool oh, way shit. people fucking dude they you trick them out really nice well not even that but you get like these innovative ideas that people have like to store buckets and shit like like I'm I was start like, gasoline with. Just <laughs> <laughs> That's when you should be looking up. <laughs> oh, well, it's, it's going to be hard work because I, I need it for the compressor. Man. You got to keep it away from anything electrical. Way. No. <laughs> what a t- yeah, it's hard. It's hard because the compressor has my electrical bad, components. Bad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be a tough one, Wayne, but yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> Así pasa. <laughs> but I, I, I enjoy that too. Sometimes um when you like right now that in El Jale I gotta deal with a lot of like fiber splicers, right? So when they roll up, you see you see which ones are organized and which ones are stampos and cheese. Not every jale though. Everybody has a guachalotes and shit. They yeah. got everything everywhere. Like, hey, uh, we're gonna need this. Oh shit, I don't have it. I'm like, it does it pinches man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, fuck. <laughs> I mean, you, you I'm I'm sure you have enough to make this work, you know? Like, hey, fucking, you know, fucking make a patch cord. I need this end and this end. I think you can make it from there. You know, yeah. you, you got the stuff, but yeah, it's, it's well, so I, I you know no, no, you don't gotta search too far away. Nuestro compa el pinche Dave, remember pinche van? Oh yeah. <laughs> Dude, you can I mean, that. but uh, whatever you needed, well, you needed some obscure fucking. It'll it take you half a day to unload it. <laughs> half a day to unload it and find it. Hey, Dave's van was a mess? Yeah. Well, it's because. Uh, he's, he's a rat pack. He he likes a rat pack. Wait, he sings. It, 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 <laughs> he's if, a pack rat. If <laughs> I was to assume, I, I would have <laughs> thought that his, his service can you van Sammy was. Sammy Davis? Tip top way. Well, it's well, because he collects a lot of stuff, way. So, oh, like, he's he a hoarder. Yeah. He, he had a lot of, like, uh, Dude, he probably had stuff since like the first time he fucking started working, even older shit. Like, that's what I'm saying. You need some obscure fucking connector or something, way. I said we had someone. And, and he's the only one that knew where it no, was. No, there was, there was, like, yeah, he there like, was, it was him and two, and, uh, well, there, and, Hans, and, and, Hans, and then there was another guy that was like that. They had, uh, like, if you needed something, like, if you're working at a house and they have, uh, uh like, an, something a protector place. from like 1980s. And I'm like, dude, we don't have that type of equipment anymore. You call them up. I'm like, hey, I need a cover for this. Like, oh, yeah, hold on. I got it. Give me half a day. I'll find it. But no, but that dude, Hans, not only did he have his van. Was he, he German? Had, yeah. yeah. He, he, had a, he had a secret little like storage room way where he had a shit ton of stuff. Yeah. Oh, there's always that one guy. Oh. Yeah, well, because he, he was, I mean, he was kind of maintenance guy for the building. Yeah. Wait, did, didn't you tell me about uh, 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 a chick that worked with you that was fucking throwing parties and shit? Yeah. 
right? Yeah, the, yeah. And le dieron gas, güey. Oh, they, they, yeah, they finally got... Oh, dude, they got her for some and, weird And no, shit. she was running some crypto Yeah, yeah, some, yeah something. Uh, my, uh, my on the roof or yeah. something. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what should we call it? She, uh, she worked at this office, and she worked at... I think it was like the B shift or the C shift, right? So... Fucking, there's no management around. Esta cabrana used to invite her friends, take them up to the roof, and they would party up there. Pisteaban, fucking, you know, I don't know, maybe they're throwing down. Que la chingada. Right, right. The problem is that, again, this is in the west side. So where they were at, it's a very, uh, it's it's one of those neighborhoods where, like, it's not too high end, but it's not tampoco bajo, right? So the neighbors would constantly complain that there was music and loud noise and people screaming. And every time they looked around, no no miraba nada. So they would call the cops. And when they were on the roof and they saw the lights or they saw, se callaban. Oh, shit. <laughs> y llegaban and, well, it stopped. I'm like, okay, where is it coming from? I don't know. It's I hear it somewhere over there. And, and they see that the building's empty. Like, okay. Se iban, and they partied again. Until one night, <laughs> I think there was a supervisor fucking driving by because he lived nearby. And he saw somebody pissing off of the building. Oh, way. shh. And then they're like, what the fuck? So he went back to oh, his house shit. to get the, the key cards and everything. Oh, and when he shit. came back, like, I guess they had someone saw him or whatever. So they were leaving. And they caught him. They, they caught him. But she's all like, I don't know. I told you guys that, you know, this door doesn't close, right? Maybe the homeless are partying upstairs. Shit. Eh, there was a lot of little sketchy shit, but she got away with it. Oh, man, bro. She got away with it. Fuck it. She did all kinds of scams. She used to tie, fucking take her dogs there. She used to have her kids helping run the fucking wires and the equipment. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I want to meet this chick. Yeah, right? I, don't, we lost. Uh, ever since they got rid of her, we lost touch of her. Oh, man. She's she was super fucking smart. Though. I mean, yeah. yeah super right. book smart, equipment smart, but oh, uh, like... You know, life decisions, not the best. Yeah. <laughs> not the be so <laughs> the latest oh, one that got her is what uh, I was telling you guys. She, uh, all, the, all the, the senior people retired. So she was basically alone in the building. So she got an office. She rigged it up with a little portable AC. She brought in fucking computers. She's got internet. She's got power. So she had four mining machines there. So probably Ethereum, <laughs> no? Yeah. Yeah, um, Ethereum. Fuck, so then yeah. um, the way I think she got caught is that she, <laughs> esta cabrona, whenever she saw the street, she would bring it into the building. So like there was a, a apartment building nearby the, uh, the facility and they threw out a couch. So she's like, that looks like a good couch. She brought it in and kept it in the ladies' restroom. And that's where she would go take her nap. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> she sounds resourceful, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, we need one like that in our so, team. Where so, again, I see it. So I think one day she found a possum, a baby possum or whatever. So she brought it in and started raising them. She had it in the building. <laughs> The cleaning the, the, the cleaning person shows up and freaks out because she he sees this oh, fucking yeah. I mean, this <laughs> fucking rodent. <laughs> ah! So he calls um, um Animal Control? No, he calls uh, the the exterminator or like oh, that sucks. the uh, what is it, like building services, right? When they show up, they can't find it. And so they're trying to they're looking around a bit if it's a room and they get to a room where they can't open. They don't have the key to it because they changed the lock. So they're like, what the fuck? Damn. So they get security to come and bust it up. And then that's how they caught her because of a fucking she was in, She was in there petting the No, no, the they, caught, they caught her because that's when they open up and they see yeah, all this gear. Special room, room. And they're like, what the fuck? And they see that it's rigged with a fucking a portable uh, AC to keep the room cool. Right. They see all these machines. Even when you walked in, it was hot. Oh, yeah, dude. It was true. fucking hot. And and they see, like, these four fucking computers fucking running. And I'm mm -hmm. like, what the fuck? These people have been arrested for that one. Yeah, so she got she got the boot. Wow. I don't know if she got arrested or not, but she got the boot. Well, that's crazy, way. Yeah, like. That's crazy. <laughs> so, it's, it's too, <laughs> but, you know, she was badass. I mean, sea lo que sea, era una cabrona, but she was a, definitely a fun person. Yeah, she sounds like she's fun. Yeah, she should okay. write a book. Uh, yeah, yeah. She and she she had a she had a like a rough life growing up. You know, this is yeah, it's in yeah, it's pinche acá Miguelón always likes to fucking chit chat. He and platica le sacaba like from her growing up and and her life. You know, she was like the black sheep. Hacia des madres. She had like seven different kids Shocking. from like five different guys <laughs> and fucking and you know and supposedly she came from a wealthy family. Mm. You know, but she's not like, fuck this shit. I'm going to do what I want. Como el Buddha. Andale. Hey, hey, 
it's not now you bring that up boy i i i think i have brought stuff like this up before but uh is it i'm connecting some dots way we've known a few of these people that that surprisingly come from money and yeah and give it all up way like more than than our share I think, yeah way. definitely we, can, we, we uh, you normally you say con esta mano puedo contar las personas but i think we could we need my hands your hands and maybe even esteban's we, hands to we, fucking count we've, them yeah we've Met a little. It's pretty common. We, we, we met uh, somebody that was uh, heir to Vallarta. Uh, well, yeah, uh, supposedly, wait, wait. Supposedly, because he never told us for real, like for sure. But I, I put some dots together. Another one that was an uh, heir to fucking uh, in somewhere in Mexico. They like their family were wealthier. They had enterprises, and they're like, "Fuck this! I'm gonna do my. I'm gonna earn my own way." Yeah. You know. So there's yeah, there's been a more than a handful, I, Fernie. I feel like. Yeah, we. There's a lot that we run into, and you normally you're like, ah, see, see, right? Well, yeah. But sometimes they give you little nuggets, of like, oh shit. Yeah. Oh, maybe they 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 are right. Shit, I used to. I when I was in high school, one of our security guards in in school was a Samoan dude, and um, he was a cool guy. Where I remember sh- shooting the shit with him a few times, walking in class, and um, and then years later, fucking, he ends up uh, being our security guard at the dispensary way. So it was kind of a trip where. Like, oh, like what the fuck? Like, dude, I remember you when I was fucking 15 way. You were like the security guard. And, then and now I'm 30 and you're here again. Now you're fucking the employee and you're always high and you're always asleep. Like, I definitely lost fucking respect. But uh, <laughs> shooting the shit with him because I would take him over there because yeah. he didn't have a car. He he was telling me that he's his bloodline is like some kind of royalty yeah. shit in Samoa. That he, if he wanted to, he can go to Samoa right now and be fucking uh, in charge of like 300 people. They, they told the story in, in Moana. <laughs> and, and we knew a guy like that, too. The Hawaiian Hano. Yeah. yeah. Lo- might be related, bro. And I was like, fuck, dude. And, and he's like, I don't want any of that shit. Like, he was super humble, dude. Like, years later, uh, when I was shooting the shit with him, he was telling me all this shit. He was telling me that while we were in school, I was in school, he was working there. He was he had a fucking field of weed behind the baseball fucking field in our high school way. He was growing <clears throat> fucking plants back there. Oh, and like while he was on the job way, he would fucking take care of them with a security fucking polo. <laughs> and I was like, fuck, dude. Like people are interesting, way. If you really talk to them, you know, you you'll be surprised where. Yeah, we've met Hawaiian royalty. We met a descendant from fucking El General Fierro that was uh Pancho Villa's right hand man. Oh, Remember, <laughs> so we have all these people like holy shit. And when you're young, because we were young at the time, mm-hmm. you're like, wow, that's interesting. As you start getting older, like, really? I yeah. mean, that's too many. That too many fucking. Is it something that adding up here? Right? Yeah. There's, there's people that are liars. Way they're yeah. fucking obsessive. No, but I mean, there, there's been more than uh, I want to say, like a handful that that. I mean, you, you, not like we went out and confirmed way, but all that their story. It fucking adds up, in other words. My, yeah. When my sister was in Berkeley, there was a park by Berkeley. I think it was called Friendship Park. And she would she would tell me that a lot of the people that, like, a lot of uh, homeless would congregate there and just hang out. And she would tell me that most of those homeless guys come from, like, rich families. And they're just, they don't want that life way for some reason. I wonder what it is, way. Maybe it's, like, not, like not having, pressure, like, way. an identity, right? And or not, leave, not living up to their standards, probably, right? Yeah. Yeah, maybe they don't have the freedom that other people have. Maybe they have financial freedom, but they don't have full freedom. Mm-hmm. And in the sense that they can make, they can marry whoever they want. They could do whatever they want, whatever career they want. A lot of this is already pre- predestined by the family. You're gonna be a doctor. You're gonna be a lawyer. You're gonna keep the family business. You're gonna te vas a casar con someone that's arranged marriage yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Well, it depends on or or this family, Indian. you know, so that'll make our family more stronger type of deal. I had a I had a back to like the Indian culture. I had a friend um, when I worked at the airport that was one of the drivers. He was from India. And I remember one time we were driving to the airport, just kind of shooting the shit. Like, oh, hey, what's up? How was your weekend? And like casually, like, oh, yeah, my, my parents are looking for a wife for me. And I was like, oh, shit. Like that whole ar- arranged marriage shit was, was interesting to it because we're not used to that. And to have some dude just fucking hang out while he's working, his parents are fucking putting in work, fucking matchmaking. I mean, yeah, it, that, it, is, a de- they, that they, is a thing. There was but there was a certain privilege to his speaking where that my parents got this. Us, I got to go find my own fucking wife if I want to get married. <laughs> <laughs> like I got to find, find my own hoopty. <laughs> I got to find fucking girlfriends first and try them out and see who the fuck works. What doesn't work like. But you just fucking get to hang out. And fucking your parents are going to give you a wife? Like, mm-hmm. there was definitely a privilege to that way. Like, the way he was talking. And I was mm-hmm. like, fuck. To, to show you how the world works a little bit, way Now that you're talking about all the, all the Indian stuff, way. 
<laughs> my girl yesterday, last night. Was it last? I think it was last night. Apparently on Netflix, there's a show about the arranged marriages where, like, where they show you kind of, you know, those pinchy reality shows, pues, yeah, uh, yeah. of how they, they, they set up an arranged Ma- the marriage. There's right? a two, no, but it's a, yeah, yeah, but it's the two families and you kind of see the process. And I get, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, Assuming, because she goes, hey, you want to you wanna watch this? I go, no, not particularly. <laughs> no, <laughs> I <laughs> got other shit to waste my no, time on. No me interesa, voy al baño. <laughs> and they Pero, want like a uh, dowry, is called, right? Yeah. The well, dowry. Hey, was gonna, I mean, I think uh, it must have been también in our culture in Mexico, because a veces si te querías casar con unas cuantas chivitas, unas vacas, or whatever. Right. Orale. You got well, your wife. It was definitely a business transaction, if you really think about the arranged marriage, because... Because you have to provide, like, if it's cattle or certain things that the family demands. Like, it's not just like a... It's a like, transaction. It's yeah. a transaction way. So, no, pues, so the wealthier the family, the better it is for the parents of the bride, I guess. <laughs> because they offer fucking sheep and all this shit that to us is like... No, but, but no. I wonder, let's just say if we were to go back to the days, like, what would your your, your future uh, father-in-law ask you? ¿Cuántas chivitas te pediría? Che, I'll, 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 t- I'll bring him a Chivas jersey and a bag of chicharrones, güey. Le fue bien el culero. Le fue bien. One of those bags that... Le fue bien, cabrón. Even the bag of chicharrones that has a little tapatillo oh, pack inside. Hey, the, the fancy kind. Culero. So Ay, you wey, know I mean business. premium. <laughs> I'm going to take care of your daughter, sir. Pues <laughs> even, I mean... Mira, mira, fucking, aquí está la, 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 la camisa de Osvaldo Sánchez, eh? It's a classic. Clásica, eh? Classic. <laughs> oh, oh, que, oh, prefieres el bofo? Aquí está el bofo. <laughs> oh, what would you fucking... What was your deal, man? I don't know, what man. Would, I mean, what would you provide? I mean... Uh, so, thinking, some, some daddy long legs so they can put in work in the house. No, man. If I think about it, my <laughs> mija's, my mija's family had a ranch. So I would get what cows and chivitas and maybe a couple of horses. Yeah, I think wow, that would be that's a, it. Fine, that's a mean deal, right Damn, there. You're rich, bro. No, <laughs> no, I mean, that's some fucking hey, baller shit. She, she married into a rich yeah, family. No, it's right? no, sí, que he grew up in a house. He grew up privileged, man. He right? <laughs> <laughs> grew up privileged. Ferns. I don't even know, way. What the fuck? I don't even know what. It's not our call, way. It's what yeah. they want. I uh, know. I mean, what do you think? Well, I mean, what they want? Well, they don't want any of that. You might take those fucking chicharrones. And a Coke. <laughs> <laughs> Mexican Coke. The envase. This is not retornable. Llega Ramón con el pinche suegro. Ah, suegro, no, le, no le traigo la chiva ni el, la vaca, pero le traigo un gift card a, a la Northgate. Ahí venden. Ahí lo que quiere, eres. Un corte ahí. Here's an Amazon gift card. Sas. Uh, but I mean, it's 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 weird. It sounds weird, but that's a lot of the transactions. Yeah, right? no, but, but even see, in our you, culture, way. Yeah. Acuérdate que that... that Essentially, was what the quinceanera was. Way, you you paraded your fucking uh-huh. your mature now daughter. Yeah. A ver, but the oferta start rolling in. Yeah, but ya uh, está, ya está lista. Even us saying it's weird is a little disrespectful because it's no, no, it's, it's there. It's I there. mean, it's weird to us in it's our time. Yeah, I know, but times. weird, weird is a it's a term okay. that's a little disrespectful. It's odd. Is odd. It's no, it's, it's, just, weird. it's just different. <laughs> it's a yeah, different it's culture. Yeah. Way. When okay. you say weird, people get like, wait, weird? What do you mean weird? Like, think about it. Way when when somebody says, hey, that's weird. You're like, you get a little defensive way, even though you don't mean it like to be judgy. Yeah, right? yeah. It's still very judgy. Mm, yeah. Like taquitos de tripas do sound weird. Yeah. Yeah. So other people. So it's different. Yeah. I guess maybe I don't get as offended, but I, maybe I do. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I got to think about that one. Fucking chicharrones. Really? <laughs> no. Who wants chicharrones? Oh, that's chivas. I'll, 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 bring him, I'll bring him one of the loofahs as a chicharron. <laughs> and I'll tell him, that's guess. That's a bonus. I'll tell him, guess, ¿cuál es la loofah y el chicharron? A ver, a ver, a ver, suegro, I'll make it a game way. I'll throw in these new crocs. Le pego a su hija con el slab y se quebra ese chicharron. A ver. You're going to take the big old chicharron, la, la pinche, la, la cobija de chicharron, güey. The one that doesn't sit right in the fucking display case. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, was, that always oh. tripped me out too, right? It's like, it's, it's like, just break it up. It's easier, right? It's I could carry hey, it. May, I don't, maybe I don't that, have to get a fucking uh, a steak bed and fucking take. Maybe take that the, maybe that dude from Los Padres, the baseball team they were talking about. Maybe he went to Northgate and got one of those slabs and it was fucking full of hormones. That's why they got it so big, right? <laughs> well, that dude got suspended. Yeah. That he tested Mi fucking. Tocayo. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, dude, I was chipped out, but they always had them in las carnicerías, güey. Pinche, 
Uh, Big ass chicharron. I, I, took, I took my dad to the Northgate today earlier to go buy his food. And, and there was a guy fucking holding up the dude, get the despacha, the guy that was serving you the food. Because he was trying to sell him a cinto piteado, way. And I'm like, dick, <laughs> I'm trying, I'm a customer right now, way. You, yeah. You're looking for a customer. I am the customer, way. We, we're fucking in a time crunch. It was already like nine something. I know you guys were here. I'm like, fuck, I gotta get going, way. I gotta get going. Yes, the way fucking ofreciendo un cinto piteado, way. Wow, in between us, way. Like I'm literally trying to order my dad's food, and the guy just fucking comes in, like trying to make a sale. Hey, el güey, hey, Felipe, mira, pinche cinto piteado, cuero fino. Y el güey trying to fucking serve the the nopales, and then oh, eh, de qué color es? Oh, es blanco. Ah, poco blanco. ¿Y dónde está? So he's trying to do all this at the same time, and I'm over there like, only at Norfolk where are you gonna try to fucking hustle the the guy serving the food if he wants to buy a belt? Eh? He has a stolen oh belt too. Eh? It's probably stolen. Eh? Has a GPS. Has an air tag. Because <laughs> those are expensive. Eh? Yeah, wait, those are those are quality. Fucking so put an air tag in your fucking cinto and ah, boots, wait, bro. People are just trying to make because you don't know nowadays. I don't know this. So I've been I've been watching um fucking videos of like people making belts. You know, there's something so fucking relaxing about it or so. People working in leather. Period. Yeah. Like, you know, you see, I mean, just because the, the, the tools that they have are going back to the tools. Fucking they tienen a pinche la baqueta right there. And the mus- as soon as they pass it, it cuts it so smooth. It's great. And it's just like, and you hear it. Like, a ella le está gustando el, yeah, el right. ASMR. ¿Cómo se llama? Yeah. Yeah. ASMR. Yeah. Dude, yeah, those are fucking. And then they like they, they do the little grooves for the, the stitching. <laughs> I'm all like, fuck but yeah. But you know man. what's funny, Ramon? Because we don't know anything about that to us. That, that's great. But I bet you there's a few dudes out there that are like, he's doing that shit wrong. Yeah. He should have <laughs> done it like this. Yeah, definitely. Oh, is that a cross stitch? That yeah. shouldn't be a cross stitch. Why is he using that kind of thread? <laughs> yeah, fucking, he's cheating. He's got fucking good tools. Try con un pinche cincel. Why, why is he using that knife with that leather? <laughs> yeah, yeah, shit like that, right, bro? <laughs> to us, it's amazing. And to, to some people, it's like, why is he doing that? Fucking people are never fucking happy. People are never happy, well, bro. That, that's exactly you también, when yeah. you see este way. <laughs> yeah, that's true. When it's yeah. tough in the way. When I'm watching shows or movies and you see a telephone tech fucking doing their stuff, I'm all like, oh, that is uh, just so when, when, How many telephone techs making an appearance on shows <laughs> and movies? I, 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 I never, pick them out. I've never in my life have I seen somebody <laughs> I, working on this. What thing. is it? Dark <laughs> Knight? Dark Knight? <laughs> fucking at the beginning when they're in the roof fucking trying to bypass the security or the alarm. Oh, he's got notes, bro. Fucking uh, uh, the, the, the <laughs> den of thieves. He's got receipts. He came den of thieves. Way. Den of thieves. There's a fucking El Gordito that's tapping into it and he's making it seem like, oh yeah, he's I'm not like, where's the records? How do you know which fucking, you know, which one are you clipping on or which ones are not? Like, I'm not like, I'm watching this. And then uh, there's another one. I saw hackers where the kid's walking around with a tool belt and everything is just <sighs> it's, it's just, just a like la Yeah, it's it's a I'm like they need they need fucking <laughs> they need a consultant. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they need. I mean, bro. I I think I get a little bit more nitpicky way because like if I see like a <laughs> commercial where they're putting gas and there's the fucking the the latch is not open, I'm like. Hey, that little detail way. It like, matters. It matters, dude. Like, or, or they're pumping gas and doesn't even have the latch there. It's on the other yeah, side. Yeah, no, it's not even like like uh he's not the trigger's not even engaged way. And you can literally see that there's no like nothing holding yeah. it or anything. And it's like <laughs> little things like that way, like <laughs> I feel like starting a business, like call it nitpick some shit. <laughs> and our job is to tell them, hey. pay attention to details, way. Like, fuck. Okay. Yeah, because I don't know si ha pasado ustedes or no, that some of these gas pumps that you go to and you put it and you leave it, zzz, tuck, fucking ah, the cliff. Dude. I'm like, son of a bitch. Dude, I thought zzz, that was click. the only one that, that happened like, to me. Motherfucker. So then, look, I was saco mi navaja and I wedge it between the, 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 the mouth of the, of the gas tank and the suction cup. But I think I like a little breather, you know? Yeah, yeah, like, that makes say, sense. Zzz, I'm yeah. like, all right, cool. And then, I, and then I guess it's not got us. So I'll use a... The, the the cap and I put it in between the fucking oh, the whole shit. Nah, you you're more fucking <laughs> than me. Where I, I just went through it, a hundred and sixty dollars like that, <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, fuck, I'm just gonna put a hundred because yeah, I'm already yeah, fifteen, yeah, aquí tienes media hora, 15 minutes here. <laughs> That's it, way I'm out of here. Fuck, dude, I hate that shit. Yeah, so, well, it seems like there's a lot of pressure on the line, no? Yeah, like, and then some of the cars and then some of the pumps. Maybe if it's a new pump. That ceiling is really fucking strong, or the el resorte Ay, is really fucking strong. Ay, are we still talking about gas pumps? Yeah, so uh, yeah, this is scary. I, I'm not like fuck it. I just need I'm half a tank or whatever. Ay, so I'll, I'll, sometimes I hold it. Uh, I'll hold snapped? the resorte and I just let it pump. 
<laughs> Dude, so are you guys paranoid like me? Because some I put gas with my fucking with my back against the fucking car. Where I don't like to put gas like. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. But también, what I do now is like when I get off, when I'm gonna pump gas, I get off, I lock the doors, uh, and then uh, I'll make sure that the passenger door is always locked because as soon as you open your door, so abren las dos. So I want to leave this one open in case I gotta jump and take off, but I don't want the other one unlocked. So. Yeah, I have that, and I'm always looking around. You only got the two doors, way. I don't know. It's I mean, kind of harder it, to ambush. No, it. but still, though. I mean, si estás ahí fucking around because esta madre no agarra. Mm, yeah. And they know, like, oh, yeah, they're going to... They're gonna, that pump's fucked up. Yeah. yeah okay. They're going to take attention. In my next life, if, I, if I'm a tweaker and I steal shit, I'm going to try to remember this, maybe because in a deja vu, don't fuck with the cars that are sliced, the the name, the tag on the fucking plate, <laughs> because those guys have the doors locked. <laughs> it's the guys that don't have any yeah. fucking... <laughs> Tape slash, those are the guys that leave their door open. Yeah, wait, so fucking, ah, oh, dude. Sometimes it's... you run into these sketchy fucking gas stations, way. And then, right? the silent, like, even if you're, like, watching now, sometimes all of a sudden they just come out of the pump, like, whoa, whoa, hey, what the fuck? Hey, man, you got any change? Can I pump your gas? Like, nah, chale, it's not la chingada. I'm yeah, using my card. seriously, way. I'm using my card. Get out of here. Yeah, fuck. Man. Yeah, and well, while you're telling them that, you're fucking. El otro se you're, está meter. No, your card's getting stolen. Yeah. Because <laughs> cause it's getting skimmed yeah. off the pump. <laughs> la otra vez, la otra vez uh, I went to go. I went you to can't this. Win, la otra vez I went to this place to, to where they where I get all the seals that we need for our hydraulic cylinders. And um, I shoot the shit with these guys all the time. Man. And my sister they said, uh, "What's your PO? You got PO?" And I'm like, "No, I'm pulling Chalino way." <laughs> so, so, so the paperwork, fucking sometimes when I submit it to the customer, it says PO Chalino. Shit like that. Way. It's, it's just fun way to shoot the shit. And then the other day they were watching a movie way, a Korean movie. In there, have you guys heard about this Korean movie that's like all action packed? But this one that was really popular with that kind of looks like a video game, but um, dude, it looked it, it looked so fucking interesting that I took a screenshot of it because I'm like, man, I want to check this out because well, I, I think it's on Netflix. I it's think it's a somewhere. Netflix movie, yeah. Ah, fuck, not the Squid Game, no, it looks like a first person. Uh, yeah, it looks like a first yeah, person. Ah, oh, fuck, I don't, I don't have it with me. I don't know what's called them so. I'm like, hey, what movie is this? Because in those places, seem to put in movies, wait. I'm like, what movie is that? I know, what the fuck? And uh, it's like, oh, no, it's a movie that one of our customers fucking told us to put on. I was like, oh, yeah. And then they were like, yeah, it's some gypsy guy that comes here. And I was like, gypsy? What the fuck? They're around? They're yeah. around fucking Orange County? <laughs> like, I thought it was like a, a New Jersey or like an East Coast thing or fucking European. They said, nah, wait, there's a fucking, there's a gypsy family, like 15 of them. That somehow they, they work on shit. Yeah, they're real deep. Y que llegan ahí y que they always fucking ask for a discount. Like, no fucking, like, son like the... Yeah, the siempre piden, yeah. I don't want to say scammers, way because that, that sounds kind of fucked up, way, but... Nah, but son, uh, <laughs> son aprovechados. Pero que they always want discounts, way, and it, it was just interesting to hear them talk about how they operate, like, as a group, way, like, very fucking... They always want a discount, que siempre les están regateando the price. Now, okay, give it to me this low, and it's like, imagine uh, they, they 15 go in there, way. It's a little shop. So you're going to get fucking threatened by that shit. Where you're or, or you're going to get robbed. I'm in fucking, you know, see if you got shit out in the open. Or you're going to get a movie recommendation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I wish I could remember off the top of my head the movie. Right? So you guys can check it out. But um, but no, it was funny because right? my sister, when she was when she was in Europe, she studied abroad for a little bit. And they suckered her way. Fucking they sold them uh, some shit. Que tenía puras piedras, way. It wasn't even like uh, I think they wanted to buy a camera or some shit. I don't know. Right? They suckered them into it. And they gave them in a little bag. And when they gave them the money, they left. And then se quedaron con la bolsa. And when they opened up, like, era puras pinches piedras, where Like, they didn't check. And I'm like, fuck, where yeah. How'd but you they- get fucking... Yeah, it's the same thing, where It's like, yeah. we're watching fucking... It's like you guys, uh, last week with Ramon. Hey, wait, but the fire extinguisher? Wait, wait, it's like, when you're in it, where it's... I had, like, yeah. a brief second, so... That was that one of those moments where I'm like, wait, how'd you, why don't you just open the fucking bag and see what the fuck was in there? And um, it's just like, no, nah, these fucking gypsies don't fuck around. And so they hang out with a lot of tourists. Yeah. Hang out. Yeah. Pues well, ya ves que now también the, I don't know if you noticed, pero también like uh, over the years now that people buy those, kind of like when they used to go around with the speakers, pero now that they're vending like the big screen TV and you get home and people turn around and it's the menu. like from, Oh, yeah. from McDonald's? Yeah. <laughs> from McDonald's that or sucks, Church's Chicken or something. <laughs> that's hard, <bro. laughs> And you but, can't, that's all, they, that's all those things that's are meant for. Yeah. 
Uh, but I mean, it looks like a TV. It looks like a fucking brand new, you know? I mean, it yeah. really is a TV, but it's just going to show you the McDonald's emblem. <laughs> yeah, the McDonald's menu. You know it by heart. I know this motherfucker. No, when we went to uh, when we went to Greece, uh, we, we had a little tour and they warned us about the gypsies. You know, be careful because they'll come up señora with a kid or baby and they'll give you a flower. And they're not selling to you. They'll give it to you, but then they, they want something in return for it. Like a donation type of deal. That's you got to be careful. Don't take it because the minute you take it, you're accepting that transaction. Plus, Dick, in Mexico, we're not any better way. You go to like to Cancun or yeah. these beach resorts, the ones que, que llegas <laughs> y te ponen la iguana en la mano. Oh, toma la foto, toma la foto. And then you take the yeah. picture and like, oh, that's five bucks, bro. Yeah. Man, no te vas tanto, Mexico. We stay here, bro. I'll take you to LAX, bro. I'll, I'll give you a story <laughs> local. <laughs> there was a guy for years, el, el mudo, el que no hablaba. He, he would put a little fucking paper. Paper, a little flyer that's laminated. Oh, yeah, yeah. That yeah. said, uh, I'm, uh, I can't hear all that Deaf, that yeah. jazz, whatever. So I'm like, ah, fucking poor guy. You know, you kind of shoot the shit with them sometimes. You, you see them. You do signs. She signs. Well, fucking years in, way, he's fucking on his cell phone yapping away, yelling at his chick or something, way. And I'm <laughs> like, <laughs> This guy fucking, he could hear everything was fine, where Like, he was just fucking hustling people with these little fucking laminated flyers, where and, <laughs> and he'll do the noises, he'll right? Go, he'll go back to character, way. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, remember that little, yeah, remember the movie that too, get your... They put a card and sometimes you know, a pinch a little bracelet or a little yeah. pin. And they'll and they'll leave, and then they'll they'll give it to everybody and then they'll come back around to pick it up and then I would, if you kept it you give them the like a uh, dollar or two. The, the LAX was notorious for people like that. There was another guy that was kind of like those um the, the they wear all white way and they have like a little bucket some kind of like church oh the, thing. the the no what is it Salvation Army one yeah those kind of little things yeah. but his hustle was like. If he saw people fucking kind of looking around he would offer to help them and he was very accommodating. But the Cormio that when that when man, when, when, you, when he told you where how to get to the gate or how to get to baggage claim, then it was like here and then now you feel obligated way. Yeah. yeah, I mean well, that was his little hustle. The other hustle también que estaban en LAX eran los little shot, the little luggage carts. Yeah, pues es que back in the day te daban una quarter yeah, when you returned it. Yeah, every time you returned it, clack 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 Fucking no, but ahorita que está diciendo Fernie, who was it? I think it was my cousin or someone. I don't know if they were fucking around or not, but the same thing with the iguana. Yeah. Dice que una vez, there was like, you know, people doing braids or whatever. And someone offered, he had longer hair. And he said, te puedo hacer, you know, al rato, al rato. He said he took a nap. And when he woke up, he was already <laughs> braided. <laughs> Wait, with the fucking bill in his chest? You know, and the lady there fucking. <laughs> Waiting for her fucking. Bitch, he's saying you're chingón. Oh, shit. Shit, he woke up with cornrows. Cornrows. <laughs> with the little cars like that movie. Yes, he regresó because le dio pena quitarse. Holy shit. Oh, shit. Holy shit. So, hay que tener cuidado. Fuck. Don't fall asleep. Fuck, bro. And if you do, make sure that your, your fucking La Palomilla right there has got your back. <laughs> shit, man. Eso está cabrón, güey. That skills, güey, because you can't tug it too hard no. to wake up, güey. Ya cuando amaneció, cabrón. He wakes up with a migraine. Yeah, like, 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 <laughs> and the ladies are like, hey, pay up. Oh, and then she has a fucking little table of Tylenols, güey, in case he has a migraine. And, and, and she turned the perfect way, porque she was putting the last liga when he woke oh, up. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 Cincuenta pesos, amigo. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, dude, I was fucking yeah. rolling with that one, dude. Uh -huh. <laughs> because también... So, yeah, not only the gypsies, güey. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> wow, <laughs> no, que no, no se puede, no se puede. 10 pesos te doy 50. No, 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 ¿qué pasó? <laughs> Tengo que sacar para pa la, pa la quincena, mi amigo. No se puede, no se, así no se sale. <laughs> no, qué clase de negocio cree que estoy corriendo aquí, amigo. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> 
Oh, Ay, fuck yeah, dude. So the fucking the, the gypsies tan cabrones, güey. Yeah, the gypsies are all I, over. I got the... scammed by a gypsy in Paris. Did you, bro? Yeah, a taxi gypsy. Jesus Christ. Yeah, fucking. Nos agarraron chingón, güey. That, how do you know they were gypsies? Right? Well, because once you start, you know, sharing the story, they're like, oh, yeah, you got, you know, those. Because, you know, aquí como tienes tus taxistas, right? And Paris también. But then they have, like, supposedly, like, these independent taxi drivers, but they're gypsies. Right? So, fucking nos agarraron. Hey, you know <laughs> where you're going? Sale más vara estos. <laughs> yeah, Simón, yo creí que iba a salir más vara. No, güey. Fucking 100 euros, güey. Shit, and you end up, fuck, you take a nap and you have a scar on the side, güey. Fuck. Pagaste ese hígado. And you fucking, how much are you? Oh, no, it's, it's, it's on it's us. It's on the house. Oh, okay, I win. Oh, I win. <laughs> I think I pulled the muscle. <laughs> the sciatic fucking nerves. I know, up. fucking. Yeah, so si está cabrón. So raza traveling abroad, watch out for gypsies. Or yeah. even in LA, fucking. Everywhere, way, fucking. Yeah, they're everywhere now. The yeah. hustles are everywhere, way. Hustles are everywhere, for sure. Um, no, so now, like, fucking. I'm sure I have fucking gypsy relatives then. Son transeros los cabrones. That's what I'm saying. It's not just the gypsies way. Yeah, if they listen to fucking gypsy kings, don't trust these people. <laughs> Mamboleo. Oh, Mamboleo. Mamboleo. <laughs> oh, shit. That's funny. La vida. But I mean, in, 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 in all honesty, though, where they're trying to hustle people, I don't think they're fucking sitting on a fat fucking bank account. They're just trying to survive it like everybody else, right? They just... Let's do it in a different way. When I mean, you really think about it, where because I mean, what, what are they trying to do? They're just trying to make a little money so they can eat, probably fucking live a little cool life as much as they can, you know. Fucking, <clears throat> or fucking just build a caravan. <laughs> build a caravan. <laughs> just, I've been watching Peaky Blinders, bro. Mm. Fucking, they, uh, gy- gypsies love their caravans. Mm. Right away. I know. Yeah, right? that's right. Fucking huh? generalizing. That's a good fucking show. Wasn't that boxer también, way the uh, Fury guy? Isn't he a gypsy? You guys heard of that guy, the heavyweight champ? Oh yeah, yeah. He's, I think he's a. Um, he's a part of that gypsy shit, on. Um. Yeah. They do like fist fights and shit, like, like the bare knuckle. The bare knuckle. Shit. They're tough people, way. Eh? I mean, they're so thin and grit. Grit for sure. Eh? Yes, I see. No, the el, el pinche. Yes, what, how did? It, yesterday, I think, or not? The anime, I don't remember. It's pinche week. It's hot, way. It all blurred together. Yeah, it all melted. It all melted into fucking one thing, way. But at some point, I was remembering. I think someone brought it up. Some shit, or, or was it? I went to some bir- kitty party last weekend too, so maybe it was there. But someone was bringing up a fucking uh, that his brother was, I think, like fucking getting into bodybuilding or like or lifting, must be, you no? Know? And then I started remembering that fucking like I'm back in the days. I mean, in the Probably what late teens, early twenties. También I estaba más porque tenía amigos. También the pinche chicle way. Fucking I got into all that lifting shit. But isn't it strange that like you get at a point? I never got to this point, but I, I made a lot of <clears throat> fun of a lot of dudes that did. Que you get to a point where where they start looking at the fucking the the, the, the muscle mags way, where you're just looking at what pinche vatos and tangas. <laughs> <laughs> did you get there? Because you got into did the you fucking get busted for that. I was I was uh, trying to get a shredder where and the fucking guy came to, <laughs> yeah, to do the internet. Oh, that's right. The yeah. next day, and I'm like, oh, let's let's test it out. You know, they fucking trying to bust his balls out. A ver si es cierto que quedó. I like fucking throwing a joke. A ver si es cierto que quedó. A ver si así como roncas o arrebes cabrón. I fucking open my my phone, my Safari, and then fucking there's this shredded ass dude because I was looking at. The <laughs> before <laughs> but it's like an article or something no, no yeah it was an article oh. yeah, yeah no because i remember that yeah the, you know the muscle yeah. mags way because yeah, we used fitness. to have a co-worker that well he, when he got when he flex. got into fucking super into lifting yeah and he started doing the fucking you get to a point where we're they're like hey bro look fucking seen this bato no mames wey que pago hey wait why are you looking at fucking porn <laughs> uh, I, I, <laughs> you could get fired for that shit if it's in your work truck like they're little in tanguitas, yeah. yeah, hasta cabrón. I, th- I think for me though, the one was like, as this is not worth the squeeze. Where is that? I, I noticed that the dudes that were fucking shredded, they would only get looks from other men and not really the women. <laughs> yes. Because so I'm like, I'm like, I, I wanted to do it to get chicks, wait. And then when I noticed that, are oh, you getting compliments from other men? I was like, wait, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, like, dude, you're fucking there's those a, nice cows, bro. There, there's like a little point where you're like, you, you don't know you went past that point, wait. <laughs> yeah. Where, yeah, you're right. Like, it's only dudes complimenting <laughs> you and women think you're gross. <laughs> exactly. Yes. <laughs> I remember having that little moment también, wait. It was great because then I'm like, oh, I don't have to go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but I, I, I thought I was fucking. I remember that shit being weird because I brought up the fin magazine to the magazines already, and I chuckled to myself like an inside joke. Way, but yeah. I remember thinking that was weird. Way, like I never got into magazine, but it was during the times of um, 
¿Cómo se llamaba la dura? Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie something? Coleman, Ronnie Coleman. Coleman. Fucking, that dude was yeah. fucking... ¿El moreno? Yeah, el moreno. Yeah, it was a fucking oh. huge fucking monster, güey. Yeah, wey. Ronnie Coleman. But all those dudes just look Jack, fucking... J like, Jay Cutler. There's this guy named Jay yeah, Cutler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But the, the, all those dudes were fucking like super like unnatural looking, güey. No, like fucking, I mean, those are fucking... Uh, that, that's some carnitas <laughs> and al pastor that's fucking... Definitely has fucking growth hormones in it, güey. <laughs> <laughs> like those guys are in another level, güey. But uh, ese Ronnie Coleman, güey, is pretty sad, güey. I don't know if you've seen como quedó ya, güey. From all the lifting. Someone told me something like that. Que, yeah. que his and back's like, all fucked nah, up. Dude, he's basically like in a wheelchair, güey. I way that bad? Yeah. Because he... I mean, he broke a lot of records where like fucking no, uh, yeah, squats or deadlifts and shit. Yeah, it's just... It's all the aesthetics, way. I mean, you get obsessed with that shit, way. And, you know, at some point you're making money because of the sponsors or the tournaments, the events, <clears throat> the magazines, and... Yeah, and it's cool and everything, but then... Fucking... Como todo, way. El, el único que sí la hizo to the end was, what, Jack LaLanne? No, 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 he died, he died well, you would assume, even earlier, no? No, then he, he died. Did. That, like, maybe, what, 10, 15 years ago? Was he still kind of young? No, Jack LaLanne died a long time ago, no, way. No, he but still had that little blender or whatever it was. But that know? doesn't mean that he's alive. Where no, 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 he's mark, dead. Yeah, but yeah. Mark, it's just his name. It's like yeah, but he was still like yeah, relevant, yeah, you think, know. But I th like I'm sure if we live forever in 600 years, we'll still see that George Foreman grow. <laughs> oh, but then he'll still be alive. So that doesn't make sense. <laughs> um, no, I mean the Jack. Yeah, he was funny. Way he the stupid videos that he in would 2011. Say. It, oh no, it's just a spouse. My bad. Yeah, he yeah, 2011 died. He he would say, uh, "If it oh. tastes good, if it tastes good, spit it out. <laughs> it's not good for you." <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the pinchy that though the whole lifting thing is kind of I mean, crazy. I way. mean, Arnold wasn't. He didn't have a bad career. Where I mean, but Arnold was already a millionaire before he started fucking. I guess he puso las pilas even before the movies where he started investing in real estate. So when, when he started lifting, making money from the Olympias, and then when he started making money from movies, he was already a millionaire, way. Right? Yeah, but ese way was fucking, <laughs> that, también estaba huge, pero he wasn't, like, even though that's kind of like we're starting people know him for that way, I don't think he was in that scene as long as you think he was, way. But it's, Like, that Ronnie dude was in, I feel like was No, but it's like, you're, you're, decade, you're saying, way. like, you're comparing, like, the Beatles to, like, a band that's, like, I mean, the, Arnold is it's, it's the Beatles, way. It's always going to be simpler. Everything's going to be more, mm -hmm. not so complex. Obviously... Con, con the years se maman the new generation and they want to outdo the rest but at the time if, if you want to just talk about the time what Arnold was doing on those oh, guys yeah, yeah. that was fucking no crazy like in same thing like it, I mean the, el Arnold pues when you compare it in his times way fucking era también un monstruo way you see people he was a fucking, genetic anomaly way you see people at, at Planet Fitness right now that, that looks like this guy would look in the 70s but now it's like seeing guys like Coleman and all fucking super jacked and shredded. Those are the dudes that, like, you wouldn't win competitions. If Arnold was around now with that physique, he wouldn't win competitions. But, I mean, yeah, you got all the different drugs and shit way and new <laughs> methods and Yeah, no, shit. but the scoring is, is they'll see, well, Arnold, they'll, they'll see Arnold now that, oh, he needs to work more because you'll see somebody like Coleman or the newer guys that are fucking super shredded. They'll see somebody like Arnold and say, nah, this guy. Nah, yeah. That's the man that fucking yeah, sent us back works. to the fucking the B squad. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. I, don't know, I, don't how, I don't know how any of that scoring works. I just know Pinchy in sus tiempos, Arnold, was a fucking beast. And then El Comen in sus tiempos was a beast. I don't know. Como también este, the Hulk. Now. Yeah. Lou, uh, yeah. Lou was, no, Ferrigno. Este, Lou Ferrigno yeah. también was a beast. Yeah, he was, where? Like, yeah. the, the, those, but I mean, in those tiempos, pues, the genetics were, I mean, they're still important, pero en esos tiempos, pues, you relied on a more way. I'm assuming que, que even now genetics even is, the 2000s. even now genetics is a key factor, right? Because you're you're using the same uh, the same supplements, pretty much the same steroids, the same thing. But what gives you the victories is the genetics, because there's still guys like Coleman and people that are dominating that whole circuit. That genetics still play a role, no matter how much. It's just, it comes to the point where no, I, I get the, that all men are created equal. equal. Yeah, that, no. That's nice. That's that's a nice fairy tale. <laughs> yeah. But that's not true way. Like there's 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 men that obviously excel in things more than others way. And and in that case, there's there's men that are superior in genetics way. So there, no matter how many fucking steroids you do, no matter how many reps, no matter how clean you eat, you're never gonna win against these guys because the genetics is there. yeah. They got that lottery win. They got that fucking yeah. Now, man. I yeah, mean, I, I just remember the pinchy magazines were funny, way. I mean, yeah. I, 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 I still have friends that get upset because homeless people are shredded as fuck and they go to the gym five <laughs> times a week. <laughs> and you see a guy pushing a cart, eat, uh, drinking fucking a uh, big gulp, 
and he's fucking jacked and shredded. <laughs> and my homie gets upset where because he goes to the gym fucking. Like, what the fuck? You gotta be homeless, he, bro. He meal preps fucking six meals a day where he eats clean. <laughs> and we drive around and we see a homeless dude fucking jacked and he gets upset. Where... <laughs> and what was it? I saw the other day. I was in downtown. I saw uh, like two or three homeless guys doing burpees in the street. And I'm like, dude, they fucking were shredded. I mean, but uh, I mean, some of them just might have gotten out of jail and they're keeping yeah. the regimen or yeah. whatever it is. But yeah, the typical, they got the their little camisa or toita folded right in front of them. They have a little piece of wood, but no quemarse. You know, boom, they were doing my like, oh shit. I'm like, fuck, maybe I should hang out with them vatos and shit. Yeah, right. <clears throat> Can't do it. <laughs> You're living your last life, bro. Apparently, you should be fucking know, out right? there. <laughs> Too you judgmental, should, bro. You should be pumping <laughs> iron, bro. Your last life. Oh, shit, dude. Vaya got este con tu yoga mat. <laughs> <laughs> I need a little cushion, bro. Vaya con su pelotón. No, güey. His little workout Pero outfit. La cosa His dickies dude. workout outfit. <laughs> my, my, my jumper. Yeah, Lululemon. <laughs> his white his, tennis. With his Lululemon pants. <laughs> His, his Lululemon collab with Dickies. <laughs> <laughs> He's his white tennis, man. I'm going to ask Hey, what time yo? does class start? <laughs> <laughs> they look around like, what? <laughs> Where do I sign in? This, this, is, this is in a community fucking workout session? <laughs> ¿Cuánto cobran aquí? <laughs> Where's the donation box? <laughs> yeah, it's funny, bro. Oh, shit, man. Well, apparently, like they say that, um, you know how sometimes in the in when people are in jail, they're like, "Fuck, they eat bologna sandwiches and all this shit," but they're pretty fucking shredded. And some people attribute that to, you know, always being on guard because your life's in danger. So yeah, your because testosterone, testosterone, your testosterone's high, and um, and so that that's what fucking gives you the fucking gains, way. Like it's not really that you're always on edge, right there, man. You're fucking. Shit, man. Someone's always trying to take your pooper. Hey, wait. I'm on us. You got to be. Hey, wait, is that how Jesus you got Christ. to wait, wait. Hey, but no hay Ramones. Nice if they story. don't want his pooper, he'll be upset in their way. Like, no, but <laughs> that night in Salantojo. Yo, por qué no? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, yeah. first my doctor, now you he, guys. He's giving those, like, those cartoons, like the old Bugs Bunny one, like, they're <laughs> all exaggerated. <laughs> he's fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, por qué no? no? Fuck that, dude. No, toco, toco madera. I don't want to end up in jail. You're yeah. not gonna end up in jail, way. I don't know. Way. Your your your, your IQ is not low, way. You, you can make you can solve problems at the elite <laughs> level. Way. Don't listen to reggaeton. You'll be all right. <laughs> well, people are just running with that fucking reggaeton. Te llaman fadaron, way. Listeners, yeah, yeah, yeah. listeners, te llaman Yeah. Every fucking DM is the reggaeton. You can oh, listen this, to this. Oh, like Ramon says, this guy must be listening to reggaeton. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. Fuck, way. We, we it was an article. It, it, I I looked it up. It was an article from like 2012. But they did a, like a story about two years ago about was, it. Was Bad Bunny around back then? No, they were talking about Daddy Yankee. Oh, and so yeah, and so okay. We see Nia and some other. Uh, I'm starting to artists. understand this article. So Daddy Yankee, so Daddy Yankee. If you listen to Daddy Yankee, you have low IQ. Not not Bad Bunny. No, no, Bad Bunny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You got a you got you got a muscle menos IQ. Because I weigh muscle menos. I don't know. I don't know. Well, you I just gave it muscle menos. Like, I don't know. Muscle menos. Like you don't you. have to say anything. You jumped in with muscle menos. Hey, I never heard anybody say a, a muscle menos IQ. Like, what does that mean? <laughs> muscle menos IQ. <laughs> muscle menos low. <laughs> muscle menos low, muscle menos high. Shit, bro. O sea, ni, ni muy low, ni, mu, ni muy high. You're not turning heads, bro. Yeah, you're not turning. <laughs> you're, you're flying below the radar. You're not. You're not making any no, no, noteworthy fucking uh, <laughs> contribution. Contribution to society. So we'll tell you that first. You're just kind of Your navigating life cycles through. ending. You're, you're just kind of. You, you've upgraded from drywall to plumbing. <laughs> <laughs> so you're in a skilled trade now. <laughs> you're just hey, drywall skilled oh, trade, bro. Oh, I mean, I know, I know, bro. We can't do it for damn. Man, there's man, people yeah. listening to us that do drywall. They're gonna fuck. They're right now. They fucking just, sta just stapled their hand <laughs> to the fucking. <laughs> what the. Fuck, hey, really? No, si tiene razón. Hey, right now they're rewinding this with the compas Blue. at work. Hey, wait, hey, 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 check this out, wait. You guys, you guys listen to these putos, right? Check, check it. And then these he, motherfuckers. And then he's the one that's saying that it was hot this week. He wasn't out in the sun with us. <laughs> hey, pero si tiene razón, wey. I think I could get away with doing some plumbing and not, not, not the not, drywall. Not <laughs> drywall, wey. We suck at it. Dude, I can't patch shit for, to save my life, wey. <laughs> some sorry, wey, wey. Yeah, it's stuck that out mud work is otro pedo. Wey. Yeah, no, no, no. My, my respect respects to the drywallers my respect to los cementeros because i can't fucking do cement 
I can't even paint. Shout out to the people listening to this fucking working out their way right now. Like fuck, right? Fuck. It's, it's pretty. It's just tough elements, right? I saw some, some, some dudes yesterday on top of a bank, uh, f- hooking up the roof and, hey, fucking in the sun, way. I mean, see, but see, I'm pinchy. Like the whole face was covered with the Raiden fucking hat and everything. <laughs> they were doing their part, but it's still. I mean, it's still uncomfortable. Yeah, right? they're, they're wearing the long sleeve and hockey marse, but that right there must be uncomfortable. They got the the fucking the big old. Uh, I seen guys with hard hats with fucking with. C- Carton extended pa, pa taparse bien, you know? Yeah, there's, there's battles working on the roofs right there. Um, in a little complex with shit, bro. Y yo adentro fucking, ay, wey, que caliente. Yeah, no, seriously, <laughs> Fucking AC fucking at 78 or 73. Ay, que caliente. Ya cállense, culeros, no dejan ver la tele. Hey, hurry up and put those fuck, tiles back. It's hot in here. Fucking Fernie hitting the, the fucking <laughs> tile on the roof with the broom. Apúrense, cabrones. My dad used to do that way because uh, the neighbors upstairs in the apartments we grew up in, they always were up late fucking, doom, 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 doom. fucking making noise up. And my dad would grab the broom and just start hitting the top. I was like, damn, this guy's fucking, he's fucking troubled. As a kid, I would think like, man, my dad's fucking <laughs> troubled, dude. <laughs> Look at him, dude. He's in his boxers fucking stabbing the fucking ceiling. With. Your dad wore boxers? You wear boxers, yeah. Uh, sure. That generation, bro. No, my dad wore taranta. I think to this day he still wears what, the those butt, butt huggers. Yeah, oh. the nut huggers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to this day he still wears those. Yeah, well, if it works, it works, right? I don't know why my dad <laughs> fucking started wearing boxers. Yeah, that's it's a, a good little, question. Right? Yeah. Como lo cambió el norte? <laughs> he felt more free. I had pitch in the rancho. Tenía calzones de lana y terminadas con cuero, güey. En el rancho jugaba con pinche que they get, get supposedly they would get the lining from the pig to make a soccer ball, güey. Oh mm-hmm. shit! They would that somehow they would inflate it, and that's how they would fucking. Y acá es wearing boxers, güey. Fuck. No, para eso te vienes al norte, güey. So you can free, feel free. <laughs> yeah, no free shit. ball it, bro. <laughs> no shit, huh? And then his son was like, fuck that, bro. I'm taking it back old school. I know. Nah, nah. <laughs> I'm not following your trends. Nah, I wear underwear at work, güey. No, I said que me queda ahí fucking vino. How is that? Is it uh, weird? It's not weird, way. I just bought like really, um, <laughs> like really thin, like kind of curious. boxers. Uh, I'm just curious because, I mean, it's like, you know, you're adding an extra... I'm used yeah, to it. Weird, weird. I'm used to it now. Where mm. I mean, I probably should be wearing them all the time now at this point because I'm used to them more at work. But no, I just thought like, fuck, wait, if something happens to me and they have to slice that. <laughs> hey, whoa, 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 I don't want to catch any charges while I'm fucking trying to get help. I don't turn panizado la pinche reata because fucking all the dust and shit. <laughs> all the break, all the break fucking dust and shit. What the fuck are you doing with Chile out changing fucking brakes? <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> oh shit. Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah, no, so I thought like fuck that. If something happens to me at work, I just want to not yeah. offend anybody. Oh, fuck that. So I just got used to it already. No, I, I, I gotta go replace that. Uh, I gotta go buy more talco because I've been using up the talco yeah, we're in the wrong business man. we should get into the talco I know wey we, we're doing something wrong wey fuck yeah dude man fuck yeah me pongo talco everywhere fucking fuck. parezco Casper the friendly ghost wey it's not it's not uh, for people working on their winter bodies this is a terrible time of the year wey cause you gotta endure <laughs> the fucking summer <laughs> Cabrón, yeah, I don't like the summer at all. Cabrón, bro. There's oh. people that love it, way. I mean, just going to the beach, way. It must be like chingo de gente, way. Kids all over the fucking place. I don't know. Wey. Fucking, you're sweating. The sand on you is like, <clears throat> como que, like, you're not comfortable in your own skin, bro, because you're constantly sticky. Yeah. Like right now, I'm fucking, I'm, yeah, todo, todo pinche moist right I, now. Yeah, I'm not gonna say I'm comfortable right now. Yeah, I mean, I was in, I was working at Burbank this week. I think it was uh, 107 when we were out there. <laughs> And dry as fuck, dude, Burbank. There's no fucking, there's, there's no, no Pacific breeze. Coast breeze anywhere, <laughs> way. So I'm like, fuck, you know what? Now that I'm getting a new setup in my van, I'm going to probably buy one of those portable fans that I could just put like an M18 battery in there. And like, I know Milwaukee makes them. Um, Because fuck, way, it's fucking. Magrito, fucking, I'll throw voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, it gets, it gets it's crazy. 107, yeah, Burbank's that cabrón. Like when we used to go, well, I worked after I ended up working para acá, más, pero. When they used to send us to, from Santa Monica to... Um, Sierra San Madre? D- yeah, not San Dimas. ¿Cómo se llama? La, like Irwindale? Over here by my house. Yeah, by Irwindale. Yeah. Like by Yahweh. And you're Duarte. fucking... Dude, there's not a fuck. There's no shade. There's no breeze. Yeah. The fucking 
the roofs and the houses were like almost flat. <laughs> so Not only that way, but ves lo calientito, like the oh, water yeah. scene. It's like an oasis. Like yeah, you think, you think there's like, water. Then you're looking at the fucking trees or whatever. Not even trees, the fucking houses or whatever. Like, are they dancing? The, the, the 605, the 605 <laughs> connect to the 210. It's called La Espina del Diablo. That's how hard it gets. <laughs> hey, do you remember when we were going to Mammoth and, yeah. and I had problems with the roof, with the roof rack? Something was moving. Oh my, my boots! And, I, and then Ramon makes me fucking open the the, the sunroof. The sunroof. <laughs> and I jump he pops out. Going, his going head to like Lancaster Palm, yeah. no? dude. It was hot as fuck that dude, day. El, and we call it uh, el fucking the devil's asshole. Yeah. yeah sure. you're fucking, del diablo. You're right? Like we're like, who the fuck wants to live here? Houses were like eighty grand in those days, some shit like that. Yeah. Well, are they are they pricing now? That I think they are. No? I mean, they're way more than they were in those days. Porque, yeah. well, do you think all these places, I mean, like talking about like places like that, where you know how the, ¿cómo se llama la high speed rail that we're building in California? I don't know cuándo va a llegar para acá, but it's supposed to go through Palmdale first, right? The so biggest it, one? No, no, no. The, the high speed rail, the one that goes up uh, to north. San Francisco. Oh, the, to San Francisco, but right now <gasps> it's in the like the Central Valley way. Yeah, okay. is it parallel to the fourteen or the five? The five, no, or the ninety-nine. Uh, it's a little uh, off from the five, I think. So, must must a little bit more oh. inland. But it's supposed to go through. Remember, they, they they had to make that deal to go through Palmdale way. Do you think like this stops where it's going to stop? I think like in Merced, like these smaller towns. Pues, I mean, I don't want to say they're, they're small way, but in comparison to like LA, hmm. like Palmdale, do you think like Palmdale is going to grow because of that, and like Merced and. Those little do you think because they're gonna have stops. I mean, I think I think the economy is is gonna contribute to that. Those places growing because you could still, even though houses aren't like seven, eight, eight hundred, like you could still buy a decent house out there still right now. But I think with the economy, um, the way that it's going in the house market, I think I think they're to this day. Right? I have a friend that lives in Hesperi, and he's telling me that out there is, I mean, it's been happening for a while, but he, he's seen it in the last couple of years just. Just the population is just growing like crazy out in the Hesperia. Yeah, the high desert. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, no, but I mean, porque even like those, those are markets, pues, that, that uh, like you see a good jump, but you already started, I don't want to say low, pues, porque it, it, that's relative. But like, go back to like you're saying, like the houses ponle were 100,000, pues. If your house goes to like 300, 400 way, that's a fucking chingo way. But like if you're here, your house started at five and it goes to like seven, but like jump it's, doesn't it's, feel the. It's not. It's not really an un chingo way when you really think about it and, and what it is way. Okay, yeah, you buy your house at eighty grand, you get three hundred. Where are you gonna buy a house for three hundred thousand? Hey, if you're planning on you gotta leave here, the state. Yes. You gotta leave the state. If you're planning on staying here, yes. But yeah. if you're planning on leaving, fuck no, for it. sure. But a lot I'm of people, honest. a lot of people aren't willing to make that change when that's what it. Uh, that's why when I hear people say, oh, my house is worth this much. And I'm like, yeah, well, what are you going to buy for that way? Like, just be comfortable where you're at if that's what you like. Yeah, well, you're going to have to go further. Yeah. You're going to have to go further or leave the state como Isa Ramon. Because, like, my sister just bought a house in South Carolina. And, I mean, she got a deal. She's got, like, three acres. And it's fucking, I mean, cada quien, way. I don't no. see myself living down there. But but um, to her, it made sense. I guess it's booming. There's a lot of people moving. She's out moving there. out there? Yeah, she's moving out there. Well, yeah, because no, well, I was saying because the high-speed rail, because I started thinking about the high-speed rail for some reason, and then like that shit like that. I go, hey, bro, would it be wise investments now that, that the fucking market might fucking slow down? I don't know if crash, crash, but, you know, they say maybe if that happens, like to buy some houses where the stops are going to be away. I, I, I mean, you got to you gotta also consider... Wait 10 where, years, those shits are going to be cabron. I mean, maybe, maybe. Wait, it's but, an investment. But, but it's, it's a noise factor that's going to be a, a bus no, no, no. For, for like the client way. Like yeah, gonna, but you got to think about it. You're you not going to have the, the ones that are complaining. Like the noise factor, like for example, depending on what neighborhood you're putting it, if this is going to cross through fucking Pasadena or fucking the west side, yeah, you're going to have people complaining about it. No, this is not Pasadena. No, what I'm saying like is if like... Uh, I mean, I think maybe more than than not, where people are gonna say, "Why the fuck do I want to live next to a train track?" Like the noise and the no, just and the, the especially there. I mean, a homeowner obviously is gonna factor everything. You're gonna sign yeah. a shit ton of papers where your money's gonna be going to that. You're gonna have to figure out: Do I want transients fucking going through this railroad track that's behind my house? Do I want that element? Do I want the noise? I don't, I don't see it, but but I could be wrong way. Well, I mean, well, you don't buy the tampoco. You're not gonna buy right next to the track. But I mean, you can buy in that in the in same vicinity, town, like uh, anywhere that's five minutes from the fucking station. Yeah, you're, you're not gonna, you got it. Yeah, you can you can factor that in. Pero también to add to the fucking because a lot of shit tied in this week with that shit. Wait, somehow I started thinking about that, and then salió some some report way that fucking I don't know. They they kind of sensationalized it, pero. In the next 40 years, we're due kind of like the earthquakes. 
that California's due for like a mega drought that might flood like all of Bakersfield and like oh, Fresno. <laughs> so like that, and you're like a mega drought. Um, a mega drought, mega flood. Oh, a mega flood. Okay. A yeah, mega I flood. was gonna say drought. Oh, yeah, we're already the there. Fuck? Yeah. Yeah, we're already on that. But, uh, and you're like, so then I'm like, oh, uh, that's where these stations are. <laughs> I, I mean, if if I if I, if I had if I had capital like that, and I'm just like, uh, oh, my friend tells me that this is gonna boom. What I personally would do, because I hate fucking, I would hate to deal with tenants and all that shit. That's Management why I, company? That's why I started, the whole episode he's been doing this shit, I, I've been letting it slide. Um, the whole episode he's taking over stories and shit, I don't know what's happening, we're, we're acting brand new today. I can't tell you a story, because little, little, this guy's commenting, and I'm like, wait, wait, what, what are we doing now? We're going back to episode one? <laughs> And then it's going to be so off what I was going to say that he's going to be like, oh, OK. What I would do Shit. if I had the capital, I would buy uh, land and put parking structures that they can charge. So like if people want to come or go over there, if you don't need a lot of fucking maybe one guy fucking manning the parking lot, but have a parking structure where if these people want to get off on this this train or take it here, they can take it and go somewhere else. Like, I think a parking, a lot of people don't really consider parking structures, but I think they make a lot of fucking money, dude. Maybe, yeah, just, maybe just buy the little land, like you're saying, that the place where you don't want to be because of noise. We'll, we can do it. We'll, yeah. we'll fucking paint the, the... We'll put a nice machine, well, no, too. No, I'm saying you don't, you, don't even have to, you don't even have to put anything right now, way. Eh? Yeah. No, no, the, but I mean... You buy that little pasta, hey. the little fucking dirt. Ya cuando yeah. llegas, llegas, hey, una pinche little convenience store, un oxo. Or Fuck even, yeah. or even si no pones casa for any, just to have the land. What if like a, like a Home Depot or something wants to fucking, Be, I mean, yeah. No, no, but I'm saying that you, like you, you can buy that land cheap now. And then when the, when the thing actually starts running and people start, when they even, I mean, you find the right time, pues, when you, when you asphalt it, pues, you asphalt it, now it's a parking lot because now people need that and yeah. No, the, the, the demand is here. Fuck that. Make a structure. The right? reason that I shared it on your story is because I was thinking of a residential place. But now <laughs> uh, thinking of more of a commercial, like I think for me personally, my money, if I was to put it, it would make more sense in something commercial, not residential way. Because like a parking lot, I mean, how much money sh do you really need to fucking run a parking lot? Right? You, and you just need a couple of people there to alternate switches because you could do a sell the monthly pass. You and just have you to, just have the you little put a machine. The, yeah, you put a little oh, soft surf machine. So there's right? a because where I go get my car wash, they you buy the monthly um, fucking car wash, and they put in like the little Q, the what is it, the little magnetic sticker. So every time you roll up, it automatically fucking just lets you in. I mean, I was thinking by my house. I was looking around to see if they selling yeah. land because I'm thinking, wait, there's parking permits all over the fucking place. If, if I get a place. Yeah, I was even, I mean, I, I don't think I'm going to do this way, but this is where I was even going. Talking to the fucking, the person that runs that Harbor Freight that's by my house, that whole, the person even that owns that whole fucking place and tell them, rent me spots here that I can rent to the residents every month that they can park in the back because nobody uses that back where Harbor Freight's at. There's a whole back side that has parking spots that nobody uses. They all park Everybody wants to park in front of the fucking store, so everybody parks on the other side. If I can get like eight spots and I pay the fucking the managers a monthly and charge people fucking $150, $200 a month to have a parking spot there the way they do in like K-Town and shit like that. Mm -hmm. How much overhead do I need, way? As yeah, long I as I have enough to cover my rent. I mean, I don't, I don't uh, what, install cameras maybe to make them feel safer, put some lights maybe, put some designated fucking uh, paint job with the yeah. dividers or whatever. But wait, imagine like having that as your business way. You, you go and you scout places where parking's a bitch. And you, then you make a side hustle with a tow truck and someone parks right there. <laughs> fucking call them up and then you make some money off of that. Patent pending. Because <laughs> I, I had a friend that was telling me that in K-Town, she, she was paying like over $200 for a parking spot a month way. Yeah. Just imagine that way. Just Sounds for a right. parking spot, dude. Like, fuck. Yeah, because it's this empty space way. That's what the Malcolm in the Middle guy, um, Frankie. Yeah. Frankie Munoz? He, 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 I was listening to him on the Steve-O podcast, and he was saying how he, he owns a few parking lots in, in downtown LA. Yeah, he told us it fucking... I, I meant to hear that, but I forgot about it until you mentioned it right now. But the man, Dick, the, the dude that fucking still owns the Dodger parking lot way, the guy that owned the Dodgers way, McCord, the guy that fucked all that shit up, Dick, that's how he made all his millions, put a parking lot way. Pero sabes, yeah, you're right, way. I remember And, and even that. now... He's still fucking making a chingo bank because he kept the parking lot at Dodger Stadium, way. Because even, I think even like the ones that they rent out to like the swap meets and shit like that, like you could still make money from a fucking lot, way. Like, and how much overhead do you need, way? 
No, but in the case of like the one going back to the to even the train one, pues, you can buy the land, <gasps> wait for the demand, put a parking lot. Y como es esto, at some point, if some big store or even like a smaller store wants to fucking build something there, pues, now it, it upgrades, pues, or lo vendes for a good chunk of change type of deal. You're, I mean, you're going to come up in some way, way. I mean, a parking lot's a great business way because low overhead. I mean, really well, wait. If, if, if it gets in the Bakersfield area, the sun's going to beat down on the paint sometimes, maybe every couple of years, redo the whole shit to look nice. Maybe. I don't know. If you become a stingy fucking owner, you'll let it fucking ride. But I'm not going to put lines where it, it's going to be it, chaotic. Make it like a three, a three uh, fucking story one I so that there's shade. Jesus, I bro. Wait. I'm talking about less overhead. <laughs> no, right, He's but, talking about pintando lineas, way. I like, I like the way he thinks that way. He's like, you're going to do it through a right, yeah. He's like, it's going to be hot. Build it underground. You know, hey, <laughs> fucking, the, the, los que están on the, on the roof pagan menos. Los que quieren little shade pagan más. It's, it's in a way, and then you could fucking designate a spot kind of hidden that you charge the mobile mechanics a monthly fee to work on the shit out there. Yeah. The, the people that wash cars, hey, wait, you could fucking rent me a spot right here. You could wash cars as much as you want. Even that way, well, how about that business way? Those exist, yeah. In the parking lot, the nah, parking structures. Right. But see, you always say that business is not about no, I'm, being. I'm saying that's no, a but, good idea because business exists. is not about being the first person. Because I, I notice a lot of times when I say, I want to do this. You always say there's always. That's not the point. The point is you do it better. That's that's what a business is. You sometimes you just improve on what's already their way. Um, so, Stop shitting on his ideas. No, and bro. what I'm saying no, is he you always don't even does have that. To improve. He always does that. Or he thinks that being the first is what it is. Being first to mark is not always the best <laughs> thing. Way. No, but I'm saying you don't even have to improve. You, that that <laughs> he exists. always does that way. And I've been thinking like, wait, one day I'm gonna tell him like, why do you think like that? Way? It's not about being first to market. <laughs> <laughs> the way he does it all the time with anything. Right? Even yeah. you, even me. I'm, even like, I'm like, and then and then when he says that, he's done that a few times in the past, and I just kind of let it oh, go. Like, why are you so in my head, I'm like. Me? <laughs> but in my head, I'm like, it has it's nothing to do with being first to market. And I just keep ranting about it. <laughs> I'm like, one day I'm going to tell her, we're like, what the fuck, Ferdy? I'm just saying there's not a lot of work to be done, Way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying it doesn't work. I'm saying so it does work. So how much money do we need? Wait, how much money do we need to start hey, this? fucking, uh, what, 300 grand? If that, we well, I mean, I the land that and then like, to, to, to put the... Dick, that's, that's multiple lots right there. Wait, but wait. Fernie, you said there's nothing there right now. Really? No, right, right now, I, I don't know how much land is. I don't is. think I we need 300. Well, wait. we just got to find out where the road is coming through. you probably have one at every stop. With, <laughs> <laughs> with 300, we got the triple decker that you want. Yeah, with. there we go. <laughs> and, lo, hey, fucking 100 a month, you're in the roof. 200 in the middle, 300 abajo para pelarte. Right. This, this, that's why you need this guy in your business <laughs> way. <'cause laughs> and then you have an ice machine. Para cuando salen, they could get the little ice to go home and fucking Fuck party it bro. up. Hey, you know. What the? Huh? Fucking the ice machine. Sale, you need is caro, he keeps water. adding things. He's going to want a racquetball court in here. So oh, I mean, <laughs> you know, you know. This it's gonna, this it's going to have a bunker too. Yes. Yes. <laughs> this was just supposed to be a simple parking Yeah, that's way. exactly. <laughs> he wants to turn it into the Mall of America <laughs> <way. laughs> for parking. And then he's like, pones un oxo? Remember? Yeah, saying yeah, pones un oxo? Ramon <laughs> says, I want the first the, oxo. The, the biggest parking lot in the country. <laughs> pones un oxo? Una gasolinera would be good. Hey, that way they don't have to. <laughs> hey. hey, that way it's like it's some your, crunchy what you're tacos on the for. other side. What you're paying for is like, okay, I got shade and I could get out first. Fucking 300, man, fuck it, let's do it. 200, I'm, I still got shade, and I'm like, hey, I got to go a little turnstile, all right. 100, fuck it, I'm in the, I'm in the roof, me pega el sol, no hay pedo. No, and, and there's a level where the shade's at where you can't just park any lamina there. You, oh, need, yeah. you need to have a specific fucking uh, MSRP. <laughs> where. Yeah, no, hey, como, como lift, you got to have a certain year and above. So so we'll, we'll create the, the in-crowd thing where, hey, what, what level are you into? Oh, I'm, oh, I'm, on, I'm yeah. on fucking down. You're, you're on the third level? Oh, what Fine. do you have, a, a Kia? Oh, uh, okay. Oh, 92 Terso? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, third level. <laughs> you get the level. Oh, you're with all the fucking oil spots on the uh, floor? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's where you're at. You're the lava in the car. Yeah. Your pintura has, has cancer? I, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got an image too. Fucking. Aesthetics, bro. Yeah. Aesthetics. <laughs> I was I not like going to mind a little bit I more like sun. I like this idea where how do we look into it? So much money we <laughs> Hey, my grito, look into it for right, us. We, we, we want to start buying parking yeah, lots. Yeah, yeah, Fucking get us some, get us some numbers. Uh, <laughs> Put some stuff together. Let's crunch the numbers. 
How much would it cost? Because we can do the. I we're saying we can. Like if it's easy to <laughs> fucking. The last one's gonna be a wavy. No. No. It's easy to throw ass. No. You're, you're gonna. You're gonna, I'm gonna need tell it. you right now. I am not gonna be over. Hey, there. okay, for you. So in this Halle, we get the one with the beat up Toyota truck, and that's to see. <laughs> All right, <laughs> yeah. To see the the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the, the, the We're not again. getting the F four fifty. Nah, nah, nah. Hey, right, but if we're laying down nah. the asphalt, we might need a fucking four by way. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be all wavy and hilly way. Oh sure. <laughs> we just gotta put in the fine print that we're not we're not liable for flat tires, way. <laughs> or scratch cars. Or scratch cars. <laughs> for envidia, you know. Si the roof el, el el, el, el el fucking <laughs> scratching off the first and second floor. We're guaranteed that your girlfriend doesn't, your ex doesn't key your car in our parking lot. I don't know. No. 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 <laughs> Oh fuck! I, I'm, we're just gonna have the little the self pay my mother that way. So self pay is a way to go. I think. Hey, yeah. Hablando de parking lots, the other day I had to go do a sidewalk over here on um and what is it Wilshire and Union or right there Westlake. I buy MacArthur Park. So there's a Home Depot there. I don't know if you guys been around that. I've been there. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> they have the top parking and then they have a bottom parking. Dude, I uh, I was uh, kind of I was kind of early for the the sidewalk, so I'm all like, no, había donde estacionarme, so I metí allá abajo. Had a nice little shade, dude. There was some shady shit going on in that parking lot. A bad way, dude. Llegó, llegó, llegó como una, like a, like one of those U-Haul vans. Mm -hmm. Rolled up, they parked. Two girls jump out. They go into a car where there was a night another there guy waiting for cut. her, and they take off. <laughs> and then al rato, okay. and that same car comes back with another guy, jumps into the van, and then takes off. And I'm right there, just fucking listening to the radio and watching all this All shit. FBI. Yeah, I'm, I'm just watching. <laughs> fucking, then you have um, fucking guys in bicycles just fucking rolling around and looking and looking. I'm all like, what the fuck? I'm like, I can you give some shady shit goes on. Fucking llega, llega un carro, fucking se baja la mija, jumps into her car and takes off. I'm all like, all right, there's some shady shit going on in this motherfucker. So, si va a pasar eso en el parking lot, Tienen que saber que tienen que pagar extra. Yeah, no. You because can't. we're we're not covering for <laughs> your motherfucking we're, we're, There's going to be a few designated spots where you get like an hour of palo. <laughs> yeah. Fucking like, like yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Like the you, hourly. You know, you know that when you're getting a cut, you're an accomplice. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> we're just on parking. Stay <laughs> away. <laughs> no, you got to pay, bitch. If you're going to do shady shit, we're going to make but, sure. But when they bust your ass. I don't know you. Exactly. <laughs> There's a fine print where we hire a lawyer to write our paperwork. But we need you to sign this contract. Also, the net cameras, we could extortionate a gente like, hey, puto, I know you're married. Because I, I even called the public storage like a month ago and I, because and I, they have like two spots. Like, I don't know if every public storage has this, but this one has two spots that you can rent out every month to park your car. But the guy was telling me because the demand's pretty high right there that no, they're not they're not available and they they haven't been available in a long time. And they go quick when they do. So that tells me that there's a market where if you do your paperwork or your homework and you find the residential areas where parking's a bitch, dude. I mean, fuck, one hundred fifty, two hundred dollars a month. People pay that shit. Where? Shit. Yeah. Remember the house that was across the street from mine and estaba el baldío, and I was telling you, dude, if I was to buy that, I could just make it a parking. Yeah, yeah, you guys have the a, little arms, but now they they really build the house there. Mm. Yeah. So because now we have parking, now the menos. Yeah, it's like our own way. But I mean, hopefully, for any, I mean, definitely, you you have something there, way. I think you you still make your money, way. Until sure. a flood, you'll make some good money. That's when, why. When, are, when are they predicting that? Well, that's what I'm saying. It was, it was a little anticlimactic because they go within the next 40 years. I'm like, ah, I don't I'm know. Like, that, I might not even be around. That could be fun <laughs> that they want the houses to go down and then they buy them up. Or you I don't fucking, know. You, you sell right before you fucking croak, bro. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm saying they would dig leave, that, it, leave it to your kids. That, um, that's not even fucking future Fernando problem. This is my kids' problem. All right. <laughs> yeah. By then, hopefully, they got enough money. Like, I'm cares. not leaving my kids' generational wealth. I'm leaving them generational debt. <laughs> <laughs> and no, problems. Would, would a fucking lawsuits. Would a, would a flooded parking lot be much of debt? With no, it wouldn't, it wouldn't. <laughs> just a parking yeah, lot. Yeah, it's just a community pullway. Well, I mean, if it's Ramon's parking lot, where oh, it's yeah. a fucking. Gas station, no, fucking sandwich yeah. shop, ta taqueria. Hey, wait, if you think about it, like, yes, you're going to jump on that fucking train to go to work in L.A. or wherever. Fucking un cafecito wouldn't be bad because it's right there. He's going to sell the champurrala, fucking, media quieres, spot. Quieres un tamalito. Aesthetics, fucking. bro. If we're going to charge people a high premium for... for hey, but you're not going to sell fucking chatarra. You're going to have, like, the, <laughs> that little bougie it's, looking... It's, it's just your idea sounds cluttered already, where... <laughs> Your idea is the way as you're painting the picture. I'm 
<laughs> I'm picturing a guy with fucking uh, a full fucking belt rack wa- walking around the parking lot selling belts with his arms extended. <laughs> nah, we gotta Puro make a cut. Pita. If he's gonna be there, we gotta make a cut. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's yeah. selling shit there for free. Yeah. 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 What, we gotta make sure there's no gangs where that's gonna extort us to fucking do business there. Uh, yeah. anyway. Fuck. That's important. Right? I mean, how can you burn down a parking lot? Is this a mental way? Hey, <laughs> how are you gonna I'm extort to, the I'm, machine? I'm just trying to poke holes in, in our fucking <laughs> business, and you prove that there's really a win win way. There's really no. <laughs> like, this reminds me of fucking Dewey. Hey, I don't want any addicting shit. It's non addictive. <laughs> hey, it sounds expensive. It's the cheapest drug there is. So far, our, our parking lot idea is hitting all the marks, bro. Well, that's what I'm saying. They, they come to extort you. Now there is a machine way. <laughs> what button do you push for extortion? <laughs> Look at the fucking like, how can I help you? <laughs> oh, hey, wait, uh, fuck it. Wait, was that your Indian uh, accent? No, oh, that was a bro. Was it? Yeah. That didn't sound like Rasa. Oh, shit. Fuck, I didn't even, I never tried to do the Indian accent. I'm a silly way. Maybe, maybe I've been doing Don't it even try it, bro. Yeah, I'm not no, going to no, try no, it. No, no. <laughs> Don't even go there, dude. We've been doing pretty good this episode. Well, <laughs> I don't want it to turn fucking a sharp turn way with, with their shitting on Indians. Welcome to the fur uh, parking lot. Fernando, mm. Ramon, Esteban. <laughs> oh, Fernando, shit. Esteban, Ramon. Hey, we, fur. Why, why are you trying to out us, bro? Fur. I love, bro. <laughs> that would be the parking structure. Fur. Yeah. Fur. Yeah. Well, fur parking called structure. fucking Avina, Avina, uh, Avenida Cuatro parking. Oh, way. yeah. La <laughs> Revolución. <laughs> El Cinco de Mayo. Why, why putting our names oh, on it, way? El 20 We're, de noviembre. El 20 de noviembre. <laughs> We're trying not to get extorted with. El octubre 31, because a Ramón le gusta el jala milwini. El jala milwini. It's just el octubre 31. Where'd you park? I parked at octubre 31. And it's not in English, bro. It's in Spanish. I like to see that. En la colonia octubre 31. <laughs> oh I shit like, Maybe we can have like Fun like little areas Like like Disneyland has a Daffy Duck <laughs> Hey you parked that Daffy Duck Where well, you're falling Into his <laughs> hallway Te estacionaste En la En la En la Sopilote section Te parqueaste Con la Don Filamón La E Yo estoy en el El cepillín 4 Te tocó en el techo Y haces el Huitlacoche Güey Ay güey Yeah <laughs> Tomale una foto para que no nos perdamos. <laughs> Mark it in your iPhone, güey. <laughs> hey, drop, drop a pen. A ver dónde andas, güey. Acá, acá, sí. Estoy en el Chapultepec, güey. I, I, I wanted to start with three slots, güey. <laughs> five. <laughs> Ramón <laughs> Ramón wants a whole center, güey. <laughs> I agree. Parking for traileros, he said. He wants a place where they can get their nails done, their income tax done. <laughs> One stop shop, wait. You know some of those places where are hot as fuck, so people go hang out at Walmart all day, where. <laughs> I can only see, though, that's for sure. Well, the way we're going, maybe. <laughs> the way we're going, we're going to have all kind of shit in the way. The way we're going, we're just going to have three available spots because everything else is going to take over. It's going to have other vendors. <laughs> the Oxo, the Piche. The car wash. Hey, the Domingos de Suami. Venden pinche herramienta here. I'm going to go fucking buy some tools there on Sundays. <laughs> That's what my... I'm all fucking trying to be professional away with my... I was telling my dad, ah, I'll comprar unas Milwaukee, unos packouts. I'm going to push it on the walls. Hey, my dad, ¿por qué no te vas a Suami? Ahí venden herramienta. Otros tiempos, güey. <laughs> oh shit, wey. Ah, wey. So humble, wey. Come oh on. my goodness. Come on, let's come on, Norte, for sure, wey. Yeah. My dad used to buy tools at the Swami, wey. Now I'm fucking all bougie. Not the toy on the floor. I think I might, I might end up going to the junkyard on tomorrow. What are you looking for? Oh, I, t- I gotta take my cousin. Mm. Yeah, she wants to get some some parts because I will load the car and I tried getting them, but through the dealership, that cabron. But I'm like, well, let's go check out the junkyard. Do you, do you have a little thing. set? Like a little. It's just a pop out. It's a, like a little fender piece. It's oh. a plastic. Bueno, te vas a llevar los pinches standards en los metric barras. No. Barras la fuck. You got to take a bold extractor, all kind of shit. No, no, look, well, I don't like, know. Like, maybe like a little, uh, like a flathead screwdriver, a little pry bar. I'm judging him based on that, that, that uh, thing he fixed at his house that he paid five grand for. So. <laughs> Oh, then he yeah. said, they said, I got this, we'll go. And then he strips the fucking bullet. <laughs> oh, shit, we got to go to Home Depot. Now we need a new whole fender. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fucking no, strip mama's it, man. Right. Uh, bueno, wey. Yo estoy sudando a lo cabrón. There we go. She's been on the whole time. Ready, bro. Whole ready. 
Hey, uh, Penn, Penn, you guys better not steal our parking yeah, lot. Fuck idea. that, dude. Man, I was like, yeah, because there was going to be some turf wars. <laughs> Let's not see our fucking parking lot names. Yeah, <laughs> I know, seriously. You know, little sections or fucking a little OXO idea or the well, ice machine. We'll hire a hacker cybernetico to hack your machine so, <laughs> to route the funds to our account. <laughs> Is it, hey, he hasn't done interviews lately, has he? No, he hasn't. He's no, been in my <laughs> I don't know how he fucking He'll hack it. your fucking machine and route the payments to us. So there we go. Sigale. No need to extort with. Bueno, pero Sam, y con eso decimos un chingo de gracias. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for listening. Thank you for enjoying the podcast. No se los olvide. You want to help? You want to support? A lot of our Patreon supporters are watching us record live, and they see it as everything goes. They see the pinches or gestures, fucking. So if you want to be part of that, you can you can help us out, support it, go to our links, hit the Patreon, and then Fernie will set it up for you and send you a code, and then you can join us every Saturday live. All right? There's a nice little community going. I see a bunch of little emojis. Fuck, there's paragraphs. The laptop's a little far away sometimes. Yeah. Well, especially um, with fucking sweaty face way. I know. Maybe in the future we're definitely gonna get like a screen T a big screen TV where we could like see it and read it off of that. Shit. Something with bigger letters for sure. Yeah, definitely. Uh pero chico de gracias. También no se los olvide si quieren ayudar, apoyar a Istaza. Go on the same links and you'll it'll direct it to the coffee. You can order your coffee there. And um, you know, right now it's summer, but people still enjoy their coffee, aunque sea for you. So you thinking that you can only drink it hot? Oh shit. You can drink it cold. Is that for me? You make yourself hey. little iced mm-hmm. coffees all the time. Bro, I used to call on the fucking summer, bro. Yeah, también para que se hace. No, 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 Thank you for the new followers, uh, the new listeners that we've had. I hope you guys are enjoying the podcast. Uh, otro shout out, hey, uh, my grito. Fucking, we, you heard the shit that we talked about. Fucking send invoices. Hey, All you. right. Jesus Christ, bro. Wow, shit. Bro. About, uh, thank you, my, my grito. <laughs> thank you, my grito. But, uh, shout out to Oscar invoices. and Rob. Yeah, Oscar and Rob, un chingo de gracias. Um, ¿Qué más? Fernie, do we have anything new? Hey, uh, have we had any new Patreons and toda pinche desmadre? Well, maybe, but no, I don't got it ready. Wait. I got to do that whole fucking email verification and all that to log in for my phone. So once Fernie gets it, you know, usually what we do is at the end, we give thanks to the new list, new supporters and everything. So I got to say, that's the kind of fucking great A show that this is, bro. Fuck yeah. Siempre listos para todo. And um, anything with you, Stefan? If you guys are listening to this in the future in 100 years, it's a really hot day today. Yeah. Really hot. Yeah. Bueno, pues con eso nos despedimos. Un chingo de gracias. We love you. And a ratos with that eh? Take us out the steps. Dude. I know. I'm not going to spank any fucking the cocina los huevos gacho. Cocina we fucking. I'm like that that uh what's that dish with the toro balls cocidos? Oh. <laughs> <laughs>